Alright. So. Welcome everybody to this totally fresh beginner spellbinder series. Uh, we're gonna call this guy, I don't know, beginner binder, whatever. Very creative, right? Uh, we're gonna go hardcore and I don't know, do you guys wanna see veteran? I think most people don't really care about veteran that much. I mean, it's obviously harder, it's gonna be a slog, but it's not like undoable, hard, like we could still do it, but it's gonna like, I don't know, just make everything go slower, right? I don't know, I feel like veteran's always like a slog. I mean, I could do it, but I don't know. It's kind of boring as well. Like, once you've beaten veteran like once or twice or three, thrice, then it's kind of like getting boring, right? And uh, let's actually start the game out. So, okay, music is set up properly. There we go. Or even thrice. Do I essence Aether? Um, I'm very open to suggestions here in the spawner. Actually, this is gonna be like just like the only thing that I'm gonna like be fixed on here is Aether damage. And spare by the right. Everything else is like I'm open to suggestions. However, I would say that I will probably just like try to show like the easiest and like fastest way to double a binder, which is probably gonna be like Ravenous Earth. I mean I know it's like not that easy to like do A through Ravenous Earth, but we can still probably do it right? once we get like some gear for that. So like early game we're not really gonna like focus on Aether damage that much. Uh, it's just gonna be uh, mostly like vitality damage, probably. On the other hand, I do need like an ability before Ravenous Earth, right? Like, you can't just like start out with Ravenous Earth. So, right, since Arcanus kind of sucks for leveling, I guess we're just gonna go with Skeleton Serenity again, right? Like, for Act 1, I'm probably just gonna level with Skeleton Serenity. Like, Skeletons are very good for like Act 1 leveling, I would say. So yeah, we are level 2, right? We can now choose our mastery. I would say Necromancer is um, like a better leveling class. We're just gonna like start off with some skeletons here. There we go. Old is great for leveling. I mean, it's okay early game, yeah. It's not bad either, that's true. Let's actually also get Francis's gun over here, right? Let me show you like all the green guaranteed drops you can get here, right? Number one is Francis's gun over here, right? Number two is gonna be Heaven's Great Sword over here. And then like another Almond's Axe, right? Like a blue, I mean, a, like a green one handed cold weapon. Roll Run, Red Jam? Uh, kind of. <laughs> not quite, we're not gonna read everything, but it's gonna be kind of like a slower run compared to usual, for sure. Um, when it comes to attributes, I will say you can like put most of them into physique on a binder. You don't really like need any cunning or spirit unless you want to like get more cunning or spirit to like equip your weapons or like jewelry or other gear. And other than that, you can put most of the points into physique. However, for end game, you could do like a spirit dump, maybe. Um, but like we don't have to like worry about that yet because we could always just like use. Attribute respect potions later on, right? We've got a couple of items over here. I mean, this one actually deals even more damage, so we can like go back to the shield, right? Uh, that would be even better though. Just like supporting our skeletons right now with like default attacks, right? So you put more points with skeletons to just like let them carry you through Act 1. I mean, as chat has said, OFF, like Orexia's Flash Freeze, the Arcana's ability, is not that bad either for leveling. Um, you can like use all extra flash freeze for like AoE, and then like use say a searing ember component, right, to like spam fireballs in between for like additional single target damage. That is fine as well. Um, overall, I would say that Necromancer is still faster though. Like skeletons and Reverence Earth are still better and faster. You're cool, well, welcome. I mean, I mean, you could do veteran if you all were, like want to see veteran. I don't know, but to me, veteran is always like. More like a slog fest, and like you don't need to do it. It's not really like, and you can do veteran with this spell as well. It's gonna be pretty easy as well. Just gonna like be slower, obviously, right? because it's veteran. It's more like once you've done like veteran once or twice or thrice, then it's like 
don't know, getting kind of boring and... I don't know. I kind of like normal more because then you can actually like get to higher difficulties faster. But I mean, that's like up to you to decide how you want to like play yourself. Right? Also, welcome on Nanka Yanen and Ulvar and Naomi and Ground Zero. How are you, man? Welcome on, welcome on. This was a rat stream. <laughs> yeah, you got some rats in here, right? Alright, that's really not, not like the most chill music ever to like start a play. So step on playthrough like this round. But hey. <clears throat> you might also notice that I have already got rid of the white items, like the common ones. You don't have to like pick them up at all, to be honest. They're always trash. And um, the other ones we're gonna keep for... I guess pretty much all of Act 1. And then after Act 1 we're gonna get rid of yellows as well. We did raid Anson's solo step on apostate. Until level 30 it was... Shit, yeah. Dread Essence is not like that quick for leveling, I would say. I would say skeletons are certainly a lot quicker. Yo, Mr. Engineer, welcome and welcome, Monkas. <laughs> Thank you so much for your support, man. How are you doing? Let me give you a Monkas as well. Yo, Big Bobby, welcome as well. And Fearsome Bessie, welcome. Also, watching instead of studying, how are you, man? Good thing you don't have to study anymore, right? At least for now. Pet Spellbinder. <laughs> I'm just gonna use Skeletons for Act 1. And then, like... Switch, switch over to something like... Um, Ravenous Earth Broden. Alright, you wanna kill the skull obviously, for the first quest, right? And you also wanna get the Shrine. And I would always suggest to, honestly, on deck pretty much any build, to go for like Jackal first, because Jackal has 6% total speed on the second node, which means 6% attack speed, casting speed, and movement speed, and especially the movement part is pretty huge for your early game, because otherwise your character is just like slow as fuck, right? Yo, makeshift master, welcome on. Semester already restarted for you, Kek W, wait. You have like no uh, holidays in between or what? None at all? That's crazy. Notorious Mike, what one? Nope. Well, okay, that's a. Uh, some hardcore university you're, you're at, I guess. Or do you have like your like exams very, very late into. Like your semester um, holidays, actually. Alright, then. Okay, um, there are a couple of like rules you kind of should follow usually, right? Such as, for example, 100 HP per level. You can see I'm not quite following that right now because I did pump those skeletons here earlier. But you can always like put more points down here. So that I get more HP, right? Like, Mastery Bar will not only unlock you like new skills, but it also will give you like some raw stats, which are cunning, spirit, and physique, and all of those will give you also some like health. So it's pretty nice to like pump that up as well in the game. Like overall, I would say you should always like pump one point into your main mastery, right? Like your mastery, one point into like the main skill that you wanna use or like level buff, right? And then a third point either into your mastery down here or like your skill as well. Uh, but yeah. You can, like, for example, Necromancer, put some points into skeletons before starting to work on your mastery though, to like just, well, boost your skeletons, like your main um, damage skill here a bit more. Right? Fifteen days vacation. Yeah, that's, um, I mean, it depends. Like for some universities, it's like normal. For some, it's like nothing. All right. All right uh, let's see what we got here. You wanna basically try to, well, either 
Get the resistances on your items early game. Or like maybe percent damage to your damage shot that you deal. In this case it would be just pet damage, right? So if I get anything that has like pet damage, I'm gonna take it, right? Otherwise I would just focus on resistances. Um, let's actually pump some more points here. So like, max out the skeletons, right? Why not? One backspace, run to play. <laughs> I mean, you don't have to like keep all this stuff early game. Like, you can't you can't throw away all whites and yellows. Like, you should put like sell greens, maybe. But like, this already uh, doesn't really matter at all. Like, you can like throw away everything. You will get more backspace later for sure. And I should. Oh, yeah, there's gonna be like a green. Like another green guaranteed offhand, actually. That I wanna get here for my skeletons. Oh, what do we get here? We wanna pick up this quest item, right? And madness. So 15. Sword, I mean. I mean. We don't really need it, but. Hey. I told you to play hardcore in your first character up to Windows resetting your computer. Well. <laughs> I mean, not even just don't get hit applies there, right? Just back up your files, I guess, right? I don't wanna play guns, do we? Um, also, once you find an amulet, you actually don't wanna throw this bag of salt away. Like, don't do this one. You actually need this later on for a secret quest, so, like, don't throw it away, right? Don't do it. Um, the green offhand I was talking about always spawns here from this corpse, right? The conjuring bone. You wanna pick it up and use it. And I mean, it's very good here because not only does it have some like fire and burn damage, which makes it actually a perfect fit for Searing Amber, which you can like use now in between to like spam some fireballs, right? But also it has um, pet damage, right? And also spawns a pet on attack. So that's pretty nice, right? Wrecked by windows, yeah, pretty much right. How can I myself play Solace of Hunt? Um, you need to, if you already have a save file, right? And you wanna basically like have another like fresh start experience, right? Like basically reset your account. Um, you can just rename your save folder to something other than save. And then the game is gonna like automatically recreate a new save folder called save. And uh, well, use that one instead, right? That's what I did as well before, like starting this character here. And if you want to go back to your main, you just rename your new save folder to I don't know, save fresh start or whatever, right? And then like rename your old save folder back to just save, right? A doctor during solo cell found. I would prefer to do it after. I can do it like at the end of the stream. I would prefer that. But if you say like uh, you have to go soon, then we can still do it. So welcome on Vanquish Virgo. Welcome. Uh, you want to go to this cabin right because there is a shrine in here. You want to make sure to get all the shrines because that's the only way in the game to get well devotion points, right? Also, there's another guaranteed uh, weapon, actually, the Slip Tongue, right? If you want to, like, play an Acid Poison character, <clears throat> then you can always, like, use this one here. And that's, like, a guaranteed rope here. Um, we can actually go out of the cavern again, like, you don't need anything else in the shrine here. And we're gonna go over to the left, like, to the west here, and I'm gonna show you, like, another 
well, guaranteed item, but you can get there as well. Okay, we can talk to later. Nice, nice. And then you copy paste the new character to the save folder. I mean, if you if you want your new character to like be part of your main folder, like of your main save after you have like finished having fun with adult cell phone, then yes, um, you can copy paste your like new character back to your old folder. Right. So yeah, these are the uh, explorers we found here, right? The Isaac folders. They always uh, you, get, you got all the, you you always get them here from the stump, right? And you can notice now that I don't have enough spirit anymore to like equip my conjuring bar. Right? Whenever this happens, just use um, polished emeralds that you found, right, and put them say to your rings or um, to your hammers, right. You don't have to like be stingy with these components. You're gonna find a lot of them anyway, especially these like um, early game components like polished emerald, scavenge plating. Like, don't be stingy with these at all. Just use them. Right? So you can put like one here, one here, or like I don't know, one here. I mean, ideally you want to like put them to an item that you won't switch that soon, but if you're gonna switch it at some point anyway, I like, I don't know, doesn't really matter to us. Uh, you're gonna get like new components anyway, and also you're gonna find a inventor at the end or like at the middle of Act 1, like over here, which, or like where you can then like retake your components out of your items and like use, the, like reuse them. On new items again, right? Um, also, um, you can always put a scavenge plating, right, or like anything that has armor into your belt. That is better than putting armor, like flat armor, on components, or anything else, because flat armor on your belt is going to be added to your belt, and belt armor is basically global armor, so it will, like apply to all of your pieces. So putting, like, putting flat armor into your belt. It's always like six times as effective as putting armor anywhere else. Just for you to like keep that in mind, right? By level 10 you could um, choose your secondary mastery, right? Like you could go for like Arcanist and like mess around here, but we're not, we're not gonna do that right now yet. We just wanna like pump our skeletons and if you get to Undead Legion, you will actually gain access to, well, another skeleton, right? You can have like four skeletons now. Yo, Daddy Dragon, welcome. Can I pose when you have the time to tank armor for three build? Um, right, yeah, I can just search real quick. I mean, I guess the easiest way to like find us like to write Red by Protoss and then write like Season 1 in YouTube, right? Season 1. And then you go to the um, like the recap video, right? Um, this one here, right? And um, also I'm gonna provide a build link for this character, probably like at the end of Act One, and then you can like like um, Grim Tools link for this character. I don't really have a Grim Tools for Endgame for this character yet. However, I will provide at least on YouTube. I will later provide um, like links down below in the description to like beginner friendly or even not quite as beginner friendly, but like rather min maxed. Um, and game spare bonus as well, on top of the like rune tools that we're gonna get here from this place, by the way. Um, this guy here, right, this vendor, he can spawn either here, here, or here, which is why I made this like big turn here. So that you uh, like make sure to save him, right? Will you transfer the items from the stash from the character to the original stash for all characters? Um, you only transfer the local stash of the character. So anything you want to like take with you, right? Um, to your new save file, like, like to your old save file, has to be not on shared stash. Right? It has to be on the local stash, either on your character or in the local like stash at the like stash guy, right? Don't put anything into the like shared stash there. And also make sure to if you copy your character over, like only copy the carrot like the character folder and not the entire save folder. Otherwise it will overwrite your like shared stash. And then you will basically like lose everything you have in your old shared stash. Right? 
Did I do hidden path already? No, no. This is, uh, no, no, we're not gonna do the hidden path level 10. We're gonna do hidden path, like, later at, I don't know. Probably, like, at the end of Act 4 or something like that. I would not suggest you to do, like, hidden path this early. Yeah, don't, don't copy the entire safe order. <laughs> don't do that. Aether Ray? Uh, maybe. Maybe, maybe. Alright, what did we get here? We got this one, which... Well... It's a little bit better, not really that much better, to be honest. And other than that, I mean... Yeah. This one has better resistances, right? It actually has like more poison risk as well. Probably should be using that one. Alright, we have three devotion points now. We have the... What? 6% total speed here, right? It's gonna speed up the character quite a bit. Loot filter XD, loot filter Omega level. Oh, hello. I mean, to be honest, at around this level, I mean, I don't have gloves yet, though. Like, also, I don't have a medal yet, but we're gonna get like a medal from either the vendor or just like craft one, right? from the smith that we're gonna like save over here. Which smith you choose doesn't really matter that much on normal to be honest, unless you wanna like play a ranged purifier or like a, like a fire strike character, right? Then you should actually choose Duncan, this guy over here. Um, for endgame I would always choose Angram, like this guy over here, because he just has like the better like crafting completion bonuses I would say. And this character it doesn't really matter at all to be honest. Alright, um, yeah, let's do that stolen real quick. Totems are always like a great source of XP and loot. They can be a little bit challenging later on. But like right now, they're not gonna be that challenging, right? And yeah, like around this level, you can like just get rid of magics as well, to be honest. Like you're gonna. Also, I don't need two enders, right? Do I? Should probably like. Loot filter them out as well. Oh, that's actually a nice. Bad as well, right? I mean, I have the scavenge plating in here, but honestly, like, scavenge platings aren't even worth, like, salvaging. I would say. And. Um, yeah. Okay, there we go. What about this armor here? This looks interesting. Ah, uh, maybe not. Let's say it's still worse. Alright, let's go to the... Cave here as well, because this cave here also has... Um... Like another shrine, right? League started? No, no. Uh, League's gonna start in. Well. Close to two weeks, right? On the 20th of February. Alright, we're gonna have um, six skeletons now, right? The only annoying thing about putting points here right, is that every time you put at least one point to any part of the skeleton line you have to like resummon them every single time. Right? It's kind of annoying. But oh well. Yeah, 12 days from now. Duncan Donuts. <laughs> yep, yep.
All right. I mean, from now on, you don't have to like use any other skeletons. Like, skeletons are gonna carry like all the way here. Is fire AR decent about? That's that's fine. I mean, it's, I would say all the AR versions are pretty good because like AR is just a good skill run. Yeah, after Krieg I'm gonna go Forgotten Gods and uh, at least get my movement ability earned. Alright, over here in the Mordering Fields you wanna make sure to always go to like the western corner here, right? Because there are two quest mobs here, Hagra as well as Balros. You gotta kill these guns for like a side quest. For that, okay. Ballos, haha. And then you wanna make sure to, well, if you want the door, right, grab this Alistair Diary here. And then you wanna make sure to find Agram, the cook, right? He's like over here across this bridge, like a scuffed bridge here. And then over here, and well. Well, I'll be. And does whatever this is like small shelter here. Campsite. And then there's also like a actually cave here in the mud row, right? That has three spawn locations. Oops. Number one is over here. Right? Over here in this corner. Number two is gonna be where we were heading right now. The rest poo work one, work one. Actually, also there's another totem over here. Oh wait, no, it's like... Ah, uh, no, this is like the totem that's from this area over here, which is where you don't want to go quite yet, I would say. You want to go there later, but not now. Um, I think the other secondary like entrance should be like around here, somewhere around. I think here. Okay, so since it doesn't spawn here either, right, we're gonna go to the third like, spawn location. I'm not gonna kill uh, Kovac before Krambe. I will certainly go into act like Forgotten Gods act a little bit. And do like the first or the first like first one or two quests, right? Get my movement ability, also like speed up my gameplay a little bit here, and uh, yeah, then proceed with Act Two for sure. And there's also like a setter here, but like this setter is kind of um, uninteresting to be honest. The third spawn location for the K that I was talking about all this time, right, is like over here. Um, yep, down here, right? It should be here. There it is. Alright, this is a boss that, well, if you don't know what this boss does, right, it can be quite rippy. You can notice, like, he's level 20, right, I'm level 13, he's level 20. Um, but yeah, let's just try to make the skeletons kill him, right? You can. Always use pet attack over here, right? You can assign pet attack to whatever button you would like to, and then like move them around, right? Like this. And if you like make them take aggro first, then you should be fine, right? Maybe like don't get stunned like this, though, right? Okay, there you go. And this guy actually has a chance to like drop you a medal. So now you have a medal. Well, this is a level 18 medal though, but that's still a medal, right? So at least we can use this at level 18, right? Yeah, Lucas, work one, work one. Arcana is a necro? Yes, this is what it's gonna be. Yeah. Right. Spam other is necro, Arcana is Arcana's necro. Yo, well, yeah, work one.
Alright, I think after doing this rift gate here, we can maybe like finally go back a bit right and uh, catch up with our quest here. Like, in theory, you could like just cruise through Act 1 all the way to Warden Creek, right? If you like know which quests to do and like where to go and stuff like that. But we're not gonna go quite as crazy here, I think. Make sure to like pick up Tainted Parameter, this is a very like, well, rare crafting component, so don't waste it. I tell the Devastation, kick W. Uh, there are many things you can do with Spell Bother, right? Including that as well. We need level 14 actually to wear a medal, but I mean, that's not gonna be that far, so we can like buy this one, for example, right? Imperius of the Void. Or even like Purging and Soul Warding. The thing is, like, the green ones are gonna, like, cost more arm butts, right? So, do you wanna, like, buy a cheap yellow one? Like this one, for example, right? To, like, wear at level, well, uh, 14. And then after that, you wanna just use the green metal that we just found, right? Side quests over here. We have probably collected enough AFT quests plus quests as well, right? There we go. We need 5 scrap for the quest down here. We have 13, so yeah, okay, easy club. Yo, Iguana, welcome back, man. Thank you so much for the sub. Are you, man? But I don't play with Grim Internals. I mean, you can. I don't need it though. I mean, it's pretty convenient if you wanna play with it. I like to keep my things as vanilla as possible, to be honest. And honestly, I don't need anything that like Grim Internals offers me. Like, if I want health bars, right? Like, just like um. Display how player health bar here, like display numbers, right? Once they have values, player like health values, right? You can like do other thing in here as well in the game, like you don't need returns for that. If you want to do that, like if you want that, right? And I mean, loot filter, the game has a loot filter now as well, right? You don't need that for. Like, you don't need Grim Eternals for that either. The only thing that you need Grim Eternals for still is to have, like, the DPS meter, right? I feel like everything else is whatever. The DPS meter to the side on the left here, that's, like, pretty informative and, like, actually not nice sometimes. But it's not needed for me, at least, right now. And, like, for a new player, I would say it's... I mean, it can be helpful, right, because like the DPS meter here is literally only and only whatever you have on your left mouse button, right? Nothing else is gonna like be shown here at like DPS, right? If I put like move to here, I would have literally zero DPS, which is not true because my skeletons deal damage and I could like still have fire boss here next to us palette, right? But it will still like show zero DPS here. So, just so you know, DPS here is only your right or left mouse button, right? Nothing else. Yeah, I mean, you can, like, use it for stuff like cooldown timers and, like, porting around if you're, like, bad at the game, right? And you wanna cheat, but I don't know. <laughs> I like to play the game as it's intended to be played, you know? The only cheating, I mean, displaying cooldowns and some other stuff is like cheating as well, to be honest. Like, you, you can also like do auto loot, right? Which has like higher radius than like the standard auto loot as well, that can make farming quicker. So it's kind of cheating as well, to be honest. But yeah, that's just my opinion at least.
And you can also use um, Rainbow Mod, right? Rainbow Mod is a very helpful tool as well, especially for new players. Which, well, shows you which affixes an item has, right? If they have, like, a rare or a magic prefix, right? Like a rare or a common one, basically. To, like, highlight items in different ways, right? Like, for example, this poisoned Vito Ring of Corrosion would be yellow, green, yellow, because it has a, well, common slash magic prefix, a common slash magic suffix, and the base of the item, right, the video ring is a monster frequent, so that's a rare item. That's why it's, that's the one that's green as well. Like, Grim Dawn by itself only shows you, like, the highest rarity of, like, either of the three, right? And this one, for example, is Taskmaster's Infantry Grease of Decay, right? This is a green, like, a rare prefix, a white base, right, like a trash base, basically, and a, well, yellow suffix, right, like a magic suffix. But because this one is green, white, yellow, like, the rainbow mod would show this as green, white, yellow, right? But since the game itself only shows you the highest rarity, it's green here, right? Which actually has pet stuff, so we're gonna, I guess, use it for now, right? Seems good. The Lenny Road, Pokemon. So yeah, if you wanna, like, learn what these affixes are and, like, which of these items are monster frequent and which are not, then I do suggest you to download the, like, um, to call again Grim Internals. I mean, not Grim Internals, but like um, Rainbow Mod Filter, right? Yo, C Shark, good morning to you as well. I was wondering if you knew whether Dot from separate paths on the same scale of Snack. Uh, as far as I know, they do. I mean, it also works for Blade Spirit, like Bleed of Blade Spirits, right? Yeah, they, they should, they should be stacking. Good, you're back. I've heard good Does anyone have, have, have a um, Blaze Heart, Storm Heart Chart build? This One of my yeah, I had a Blaze Heart build. Like, like my Fire Reverence Earth build, right? Fire Reverence Earth Oppressor. Um, I know with Chill Heart you can just do like a Spit to Win, like Code Our Reckoning. Dervish or Paladin, right? It's pretty good. And with the Stormheart, you can, I guess, do some like Latin Fire Strike builds. Alright. Um, over here, right? Sadina. This is gonna be an important NPC for you because here you can, well, rescale, right? You can like drop points here, you can drop points here, right? You can even drop points from Devotions, right? Dropping points from Devotions is gonna cost you like Aether Crystals on top. And the other stuff is gonna, well, uh, only cost you iron belts, right? These numbers will scale up, but it's not like too expensive for a wall, so feel free to like, well, experiment a bit, right? Uh, next up, we're gonna go for Seda's God, actually, because Seda's God has additional movement speed here, right? 8% movement speed here. And also, I need blue affinity to like unlock Widow, well right? I need blue and yellow affinity, I mean, blue and green affinity for Widow. Which is what we're gonna go for next, because Widow has Aether Resistance Reduction, which is what you want for an Aether movement. Also, thanks to the photos, uh, Dudu 850 and C Shark, quick one, guys. Alright, uh, we're gonna go for Widow Shrine. Right? Let's just port back here. Stormheart Bleed Build. Do you mean Chillheart? Huh? Yeah, yeah, Renan made a Chillheart bleed build actually. Like a Ring of Steel bleed build. It's pretty good. That's what he played in the last league actually. Like a uh, Chillheart bleed um, Witch Hunter, that's what he played, I think. Bait Keeper said amazing. Uh, we're gonna find out. I guess soon. I guess this week and next week, whenever I'm not playing the Spellbinder, I'm gonna be playing a Veil Keeper uh, Ritual Restaurant. Because I did actually get the full set, like uh, last stream, right? So, yeah. 
seems good. Alright, over here in the abandoned waterfront, you wanna get... Well, the three fabrics, right? One, two, three, there we go. Mm, I mean, I could actually... Start specking into Ravenous Earth already if I wanted to, right? Not sure if I want to. You could also put more points into either this here, right? To like spawn more skeletons or put more points here to give your skeletons like more damage, more armor, more vitality resistance, right? That's like not bad at all. I'm just kind of skipping it because I don't know. I. I guess I want to not play skeleton turns for like too long, so... Like the less points I put here and here, the less I will have to respect later on. Yo, the tower, welcome on. Did I just crash? Wow. Okay, interesting. That's an interesting crash. I never had a crash like that before. What the fuck? Oh my god. Like I literally never ever crashed clicking on a like clicking on a shrine. That's like very interesting. I mean this game doesn't crash a lot, usually. Like I rarely get crashes. I think it's like the hey, first crash on this match actually. Oh well. Let's walk there again. Skeddies RE? Yeah, Skeddies for Act 1 and then RE. It's like the plan. But I wanna go for like Aether damage. And RE is uh, vitality damage mainly, so... We're gonna figure out something, right? Maybe like RE for only Act 2 to 3, and then switch over to like Aether Ray, right? 2 100? Yeah, I don't know. Maybe like Aether Ray actually. After like Act 3. That's gonna like back out the map as well, like crash here, right? I mean, I do have the three fabrics there, right? Like, I don't have to like go to the waterfront again. But I do wanna get the totem and I do wanna get the shrine as well. Oh look, we got some blueprints, nice. There's like another reason why you wanna do these totems, because they have a very very nice chance to give you blueprints, right? Like a pretty high chance for blueprints. Oh, this one has pet styles, nice. Okay, what else do we have here? I mean... All of these don't give me pet stats, right? Which my current offense still does. Well, yeah, Spectre Wrath is pretty good, yeah, for Aether as well. True, true. But I, as long as I'm playing pets, I'm not getting hit that much, so like... Spectral Wrath isn't even that good. But yeah, I should go for Spectral Wrath as well, like, once I like, pick it up the Skeletons, right? That's a good point. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I will give you a build link after. I, mean, I could do you like give you like one right now. Right? This is basically like skeletons max all the way to right? This is like what you do for act one. All right, let me. Put the link over here real quick.
All right, there we go. Progress a carnest. I mean, if I want to play AR later, then yeah, that's probably a better idea, right? I mean, I do want to maybe get DK though. Right. I was thinking of like maybe going up to a DK, but uh, it's maybe a bad idea, right? I mean, you don't need a percent damage reduction while leveling that badly, right? DK is good already, though. Yeah. I mean, yeah, the percent damage is still there, right? It's not all about um, like damage reduction, it's also about like, percent damage. Which is pretty good early game. Yeah, and it plans like spec out of skeletons after Krieg, and then like go RE and DK and also like max out Spectral Wrath front. It's like the plan. And then after that, spec into Arcanas and like make your way to Aether Ray probably. Yeah, sounds good. Alright, over here in the Warren Cellar, you always have a guaranteed totem as well, which is an ancient totem. And that's probably, I would say, the hardest part of Act 1. Like, it's harder than Krieg actually. So if you do click on that totem, be prepared to, well, have a, a tough and then quotation marks fight. It's not going to be that tough here because, well, skeletons are just going to, like, make short work of the monsters spawning there, probably. It has a couple of, like, spawn locations in the cellar, but it's going to spawn in, like, one of those spawn locations every single time. So if you want to, like, look for it, make sure to, like, I guess... Check out all the corners here, right? Throughout A3, uh, always energy problems. Uh, we'll see about that. There are certainly ways how you can, like, not have A3, like, not have energy problems. But yeah, we're not gonna, like, do A3 that soon. I feel like. Not that soon. Alright, I mean, do I wanna use the spawn? Probably later on, right? There's so much stuff here, I mean, we can just go back and sell it. I just have like green items. Generally speaking, you should probably sell. Because, well, you do need iron blades at a later stage. And yeah, you do wanna, you wanna like get some iron blades, right? I mean, these blue gloves... Nah. No. I mean, they're not too bad, but... They're not, like, amazing either. Final March is gonna be very, very good, once I spec out of skeletons, right? Ah, what? No, no, no. Buy back. There we go. Alright. So I think from now on I'm gonna actually start with Spectral Wrath and then like just put my Skeleton Pawns into Ravenous Earth once I like spec, like switch over right. Slith Prime Ring, yeah Slith Prime Ring is very good, I don't have it yet though because I only have um, two of these right. You wanna um, like these Slith Necklaces right that the Slith Shamans can drop, you wanna get three of them because there's gonna be a ring that you can get in return, which we're gonna try to get here. After, at least like after Killing Creek, right?
It's at Penetti level? What? No, no. Skeletons are literally like top three, I would say, for early leveling. If not even like top two or top one. Like they're literally used for speed leveling, like for speed running as well. Like skeletons and the boring swarm are like, I would say the two best like for early game. I mean, later on, skeletons fall off. Like, they fall off hard. But like, for Act 1, skeletons are insane. But yeah, they, they fall off pretty soon. Promise Strike's best leveling skill? It's one of the best, yeah. I mean... I was talking about like Act 1. Like in Act 1, I would say the Warring Swarm and the Skeletons are like the best. Promise Strike is like the best at Act 2 and after that, right? I was mostly like talking about Act 1 right now. But yeah, like after Act 2 and 3, I would say like Virus Mod is probably like the best one. I mean, Promise Strike is the best one in Shaman, yes, for sure. Yeah, but is pretty good as well. And yeah, you wanna, especially early game, have either a cooldown base skill or pets, because then you can always like use Fire Blast in between, right? And you get like damage from your pets and from Fire Blast, right, at the same time. Or like damage from like a ticking skill, like the Warring Swarm worth pain, right? And Fire Blast on top, right? You can also use, um, instead of Fire Blast, right? You could also use um, Chilled Steel, right? For Ice Spikes. That also works, for sure. I would say it's a little, a little bit worse than Fire Blast, but um, there are some, like, fire resistant enemies, right? And against those, in Act 1, you could use, like, Ice Spikes instead, right? But I mean, when you like, play skeletons, it doesn't really matter that much, because like, if you meet like fire resistant enemies, like your skeletons are gonna kill those instead, right? So like... You don't need ice spikes if you like, play skeletons, right? Um, if you are playing Bloody Pox and you instantly kill stuff, just disable lore, then Bloody Pox will still spread, even from corpses. If you disable gore, then it still spreads. Yesterday started in Arknas, I wonder if I use Soldier for second class as good enough for endgame? Like a battle mage? Yes, of course. I mean, you can literally play any class for endgame, but I would say for... Especially for hardcore endgame, battle mage is not bad at all, it's pretty good. General prefix. It's actually not that good on low levels. Oh well. Yeah, yeah, but magic can only, in quotation marks, do this R90. <laughs> I mean, it's like... Uh... No, no, if you disable gore, then it does spread. If you enable gore, then it can sometimes not spread because like sometimes the enemies like explode right and like there are no corpses left behind if you disable gore then enemies will like pretty much always um, leave a corpse behind and those corpses can then like spread for the box
There we got our squad relic, nice. Alright, time for Quad and Krieg, right? You can see the skeletons do take some damage against them. And like one or two are gonna die here. But other than that. I mean, they just kill them, right? There we go. And if you actually get his judgment, right? You could consider continue playing with skeletons, right? Like, this one is insane for skeletons. Like, look at this, right? It also is actually Aether skeletons, so like, it would fit what I wanna do. What do you think, guys? Should we like continue playing with the skeletons here? Since we got this item. I'd actually like continue playing skeletons from it. Bone zone pog. Now this guy, I mean, just cut him out. Alright, let's give the fabric back to the lady up here. Alright, Constance. Alright, let's do a quick um, poll here, right? Okay, should. I mean, I know that even with this weapon, skeletons are probably gonna be a little bit worse than Ravenous Earth. However, we got the item right. Also, Mikulas, thank you so much for the sub, man. Welcome on, welcome on. Welcome in, Mr. Rat Jam. Uh, but if chat wants to see skeletons, right, a little bit longer, we can like still keep them like at least to like the end of Act 1, I, would say, I mean, Act 2, I would say. Let me do yes or no, right? And let's do like three minutes here for the pod, right? There is a pod available, right? You can check it out at the top of the screen. I mean, at the top of the chat, right? You can vote there. All right. You make me feel young again. <laughs> You're younger than me, dude. I mean, I guess that's why. That's a joke, I guess, right? The warden's defeat is a, right. the warden's defeat is a Yeah, some you boomer gameplay right here. <laughs> At least for you, I guess. Okay, um... They're gonna chill with skill specking for now. Because I will wait for chat to decide if you go for more skeletons or not. Alright, um, after killing Warden Krieg, right, you have the ability to... Well, first of all, you could, like, craft a relic, right? At, at around level 18, you can, like, craft a relic. Uh, let's see what we can do here, if there's, like, anything interesting here. We can craft Squall, Calamity, and Equilibrium, and Ruination, right? This one I found is actually, like, a higher relic, right? Like, a higher tier relic. But the three you can always do is Calamity, Equilibrium, and Ruination Red. They're not really that great, honestly. But, I mean, Equilibrium at least... has, like, elemental resistances, right? So, if you, like, don't know what to get here, you can always, like, get Equilibrium for, like, movement speed and elemental resistances, right? Okay, let's craft this one. There we go. Also, we could actually, like, start using proper components, such as, for example, and venom cell, right? This will give you like more poison rest, right? All of these components down here you can like craft like basically the second you rescue the smith, right? Including stuff like six watches, which is like a pretty nice component here. So let's do two of these. We need two resilient platings for that. Right, one, two. 
Let's do two six watches here. We can put one of them in the pants, one of them in the shoulders. There we go. Uh, we're going to put the Antivenom Solve, since, it's, since, it's, <clears throat> since it has armor, we're going to put this one into the belt, right? Also, if we get like a Mark of the Traveler to like move around faster, we can like put those into the boots. And uh, what else? I mean, uh, what do we put in rings now? We could like put either Frozen Hearts or Corpse Dust into rings, right? But honestly, this ring is... Uh, this one's actually fine. The other one's pretty trash, right? Also, like, put, uh, like, a corpse dust here. However, you can also craft ward stones, right, for amulets and metals, which also give you more movement speed, right? And also more metal and bleed rust. So if you, like, craft two of these, right, which means you're, like, your metal and your amulet, you're gonna have, well, pretty nice movement speed already, right? Also more movement speed here. We are already at like 131% movement speed. Just like that. And I mean, the max is 135, so pretty close to that already. So, 74% of people voted for keeping the skeletons a little bit longer, so we're gonna keep them at least to say around um, at the end of Act 2, probably, right? Which means. We should maybe also like get rid of the Sado's God again, right? Honestly. When I mean, the movement speed is nice, it's very nice as you can see. However, I might wanna actually scale my skeletons a little bit here. With something like either Fiend or Imp. I mean Imp is nice because it does give me like blue and green affinity. I mean, Imp doesn't have any pet bonuses, however, you can put this to the Skeletons. And that's a pretty nice proc for Skeletons. I mean, I need four blue, right? Which this and this together will provide, and then I'll just need like three more greens. Which would be something like Hawk or Skora Slide, right? Let's try this. And we're still like reasonably fast, right? Also, since we're actually gonna like lay skeletons now after all. Um can actually invest into them. Right? There we go. Shepard's Crook. Yeah, Shepard's Crook is a very good like tier 1 debuff as well for skeletons. That's true. It's very good as well. Um, but since like I don't really want purple affinity right now, right? I want the green and blue. Like I wanna go for Widow. Um, and I'm not gonna like keep pets for like I mean I'm gonna keep them longer now but like not like all the time so we also pick Raven for green right which has like pet stuff as well true true upgrade fireball that's a good idea actually yeah but also we're gonna go to act seven over here at right? the Forgotten Gods Act and the reason why you wanna go here pretty much always after killing Krieg is because here you get access to movement augments, right? Also, you get like some free stuff over here, as you can see, like a legendary 50 one hander. I mean, um, you're playing like an oath keeper, right? This is very good for like level 50. However, we don't really care about that, so I'm just gonna set it on a slam. Like, who cares about that, right? There's like a guaranteed spawn over here anyway, like on every single character, so. Like, you don't have to save this for like other characters, honestly. It's not that good. Like, it's not needed to save it at least. Uh, we have more pet stuff here actually. Gloves, that's pretty nice. I might even sell these now. I don't know. Hmm. Maybe not. I should just skip them, right? So I have my anti venom solve, my stash, right? What am I doing? I need to like put that into my belt. To put that into your belt, you need to like actually talk to the inventor, right? And then make her remove your component on the belt. Which you can do well like this, right? Green ball scuddies. I mean, we have pretty much Aether Skeletons with this item here, right, but... 
The emissary war they don't change like their effects, sadly. Alright, who do we choose actually here? I think I want to get some uh, thing like... I mean, Vanish is like really good on it. You can choose between... Well, up to six different movement abilities, right? And you're always gonna get access to two of them instantly with the faction that you choose, right? For example, Solala has Rush, which is like a charge forward, right? Doesn't require a target. Disengage is like disengage, like you jump backwards, right? I could hear then you have Vanish on Bismil, right? Which is like a Shadow Strike, like this one requires a target. And basically like the, the quickest like way to get from like your like your current position to like the enemy's position. Um, it has no like range limitation at all. A leap is like a well, like a leap, right? Just jump. Rift Air is like a teleport, doesn't require a target, like small, like short um, range teleport. And charge is like vanish. But it's a little bit slower, but it also adds like a shield's damage, right? If you have a shield, then it adds, adds like shield damage. Um, I think I wanna maybe play... I don't know. I mean, with Vanish you can like do so many like tricks with like skips and stuff like that. On the other hand, I don't think I wanna like go that crazy, right? Like, this is not a speed run, this is just like a solo cell found. Beginner run, right? So you're just gonna like pick the like teleport here, I guess. You can put this like wherever you want to as well, right? And like teleport like this, right? Pretty nice uh, to get yourself out of like danger if you are surrounded, for example, right? Open on this, work one, work one. And I might also wanna do maybe like the first one or two quests here as well on this act. Who are they? I probably should go all the way to like Leovanus' ring of the instant. It's not too far actually. <laughs> yeah, I mean, exactly. I mean, that's what it is, right? It's literally a jump forward or like a jump backwards, right? I leave it disengage. Um, the reason why I bought multiple of these is not because you need multiple of them, but rather... I mean, you need more. Like, every time you switch your metal, right, you're gonna need to reapply this onto your metal to, like, continue using, like, the leap, right? So you might wanna buy multiple of them so that you don't have to, like, go back to the shop every time you, like, use a new metal, right? You will eliminate through, work one, work one. Describe a Grim Dawn burnout from Escape from 1 to town. Uh, zero? I don't know what you mean. Have I done my master thesis yet? No, I haven't. Not yet, nope. I, mean, I could have if I wasn't like derping around, but, but I haven't yet. I have like a master thesis in Grim Dawn, I guess. I don't know.
Yeah, there are a couple of tricks you can do with Vanish to like skip certain parts of the game to like move around very quick. But I don't know. I feel like if you are like a beginner, right, you just want to like play the game, right? Like, you don't want to skip stuff. You want to play the game. So I don't really want to like uh, overwhelm new players with like all that skipping, right? Also, like you need levels anywhere, like. Killing monsters gives you levels, obviously, so... You wanna kill monsters. Alright, let's do a template of Azir as well, actually. Let's go down here and get the uh, shrine, and as well as... A couple of stuff for these, like... Um, for this quest line down here. I haven't written like any thesis that is like on my name. To be honest. I've I've had multiple people with their theses, but I haven't done my own yet. <laughs> it's kind of uh, scuffed, but yeah. Oh, my skeletons are dying, right? What am I doing? Yeah, I mean, uh, you need resistances for your pets as well, right? Which is why they're dying right now. And uh, I have like zero like pet resistances pretty much right now still. I got like a couple of resistances from some items, I think. Right, like Aether and Chaos here. I have like decent Aether and Chaos for us, but I'm like no elemental, no uh, poison for example either, and that's kind of like ripping my skeletons here. A little bit too much maybe. I mean, this is just damage, right? This is just health. Hmm. Shepard's Crook does have that like 15 elementalists. Four pets. But I mean, as long as you just like resummon them properly, it's fine, right? Also, you do get some like vitality rest at least here, right? It's only vitality there. Hmm. Mysterious orb. I mean, just get it while leveling, right? What the fuck? This is like a rare item, like a very rare item. I mean, it's literally just a pet that does nothing, right? This one summons this cute little dinosaur here, right? This one? Oh, you can't see it now, but like... Where is it? This guy here, right? Oh, bad for Panetti. <laughs> Imagine leveling with Panetti on Megalol. Now we're gonna probably do like Aether Ray later. And uh, I wanted to do Ravenous Earth leveling right now, but since chat voted to like keep on leveling with Skeletons, since I got this item here, uh, we're doing Skeletons right now still. Offer me penalty. I mean, even even if you offer me that, I'm gonna take it. A time limit for my thesis? Yeah. I mean, of course. Which is why I'm not studying the same thing right now than like what I started with. Right? <laughs> I'm not in my first studies. The only study I've finished so far is like Grim Dawn studies, you know. But yeah, that's, uh, I don't know, it's not, not my favorite topic to be honest. <laughs> it's more like, I mean, if you read, I mean, yeah, I'm in like my third studies right now. 
And if I'm like perfectly honest with you guys, like the reason why I like dropped out the other two is not because I was like too stupid to like do it. It's more like because I either was too lazy to like do anything or because I was like, yeah, I don't know. Having some like issues with depression and stuff like that, you know, but yeah. Uh, what do we do next? I think I still wanna like go for probably Ravnus. Uh, I could like actually go for Arcanus now, right? Because like Iskandros Elemental Exchange could be used to like block my skeletons as well, like to give me more damage on skeletons, right? I mean, it's basically like third studies. I mean, like I had. I studied something, right? Then I dropped out. Then I studied something else. I dropped out. Then I'm studying something else again. That's basically what it is. Like what it means, you know. Miss Corbin's secrets, KW. Wait, did I miss Corbin's secrets? Oh yeah, we're here. Oh yeah, this this chest right here is very special as well. It only spawns once per session in the entirety of this Forgotten Gods act, right? And if you click on this, you're gonna get a, well, Celestial Essence, right? This one over here, which you can use at a certain place, but, like, don't use it, unless you wanna die. Uh, it's like what spawns the Karagadra Super Balls, right? So, um, if you wanna die, you can do that. <laughs> um, if you wanna kill the Super Balls, you need to, like, wait until like, you get, like, way stronger, right? Use it in normal, just die in normal, yeah, nice. Sounds good, right? Actually, this spell is pretty insane, it has plus two to raise skeletons, right? But since we're still using skeletons, I'm actually gonna use that here, right? Now, let's go back to crossing. Alright. So we're gonna have basically stronger skeletons now, right? Nice, nice. Hawk skeletons. Oh yeah, what about devotions, by the way? We can work on this, right? We can work on the end. All right, this boss right here is actually kind of scary. Not gonna lie. Um, we wanna like make our skeletons tank this guy and uh, not tank him ourselves. He can be pretty sketchy. He has like low HP, but he has very high damage. If you like let him shred your like resistances and defensive ability, he can like hurt a lot. So you don't wanna like get hit by him basically, right? Just don't get hit right. Should actually like also go back and sell some stuff here again, right? Like just sell stuff. You would like to thank me for your build companion, uh, my build companion. Nice one, glad you enjoyed. Yeah, I'm gonna actually put some more builds there in the future. Um, I don't have my like beginner builds there, I think, either. Okay, I need to update it properly, oops. So it's only gonna become like bigger and bigger. We have here Necromancer's Gold Ring with Aetheras. I mean, sure, better than this useless one, right? This one actually has pet bonuses as well. Oh, this is pretty nice, actually. Um, I kind of want to use this, right? Yeah, yeah I want to use this one. I do need more spirit for that, though, which means, again, we could like put more polished emeralds, right? Also, another reason, I mean, another way to like search for items that have like pet stuff right is you just set everything first right you set all your items and then you write pets up here in the search bar and then, like go to buyback and like only things that have like pet stats like for example this one would highlight right there we go 
then you like only look at the stuff that has like pet stuff on it. It's like a, like a quick way to, well, check out your pet stuff right, that you found. All right, let's put the uh, polished emeralds on like all of this here. And I can, well, barely not use this yet. Yikes. Hmm. Also, what about Aether damage, right? We can use Wrath Stones, right? We could like use two Wrath Stones here to like make my pets deal more damage. Let's try this, right? Um, these aura stack, right? You can put them in your second bar here. Also, I should like probably. Wait, no, I don't have this one yet, right? No. Okay. There you go. Let's put this here. And we're gonna put this one into the soft hand, which I'm gonna use basically. I mean, like next level, right? Okay. Inverka <laughs> Sadochka. I kind of miss it actually. Do I have any advice on how to deal with Aether Fire in multiplayer? I've died due to a lag twice over the years while walking over it and it sucks. I mean, you could play a health regen build. You could play. I mean, just like use a pot instantly. You could, like, I don't know. Not stand on it, right? I mean, I don't know. The only things that I can tell you is uh, use panic buttons like Mirror of Erectus, right? Or like use an Aether Cluster, or use Health Pots, or don't stand on it, or like play a Health Gym build, right? <laughs> 7, 7, 1, 2, I can tell you. Yeah, pretty much. Alright, there's another shrine over here, in the secret area here. You don't want to miss this one. Now we can finally use this one. And we're gonna put this to skeletons, and as long as we use skeletons, all of these skeletons, like every single skeleton, can proc this. And that's pretty nice. Also, you get a free legendary ring over here. The Devonis' ring, which has XP gain and elemental rest, which you could use instead of like these two, or like instead of one of these two, right? Or well, like this, right? Actually, we could do it like this, and use the offhand, right? There we go. Got double aether weapons for skeletons and also for myself actually. Um, well, I don't have fireball anymore, but I think that's fine. I didn't see did you lag. I mean, what can I say? Just don't lag, right? <laughs> nah, I mean, I don't think there's anything anything you can do, right? Like, there's only I don't know. I I don't think I can help you. I'm sorry. Like, if you're lagging, then it's because of the connection between you and the guy that you're playing with, right? I mean, if you host, then you won't lag, but like like the other guy will lag, right? And if he's hosting, then you're gonna lag, unless like your connection is good, right? Between him and you, right? I still clicked the wrong person for the quest of Forgotten Gods. Yep, yep. It's called misclicking, you know. Alright. And I'm very good at misclicking, like, very good at that. I'm very good at that, for sure. Alright, um, can I level up place at some point? I kinda wanna use like uh, Iskandros Elemental Exchange for my skeletons as well. Give them like more damage. I mean, that's soccer, like, what can I say, right? Like, just don't lag around. Right? <laughs> it's, it's either a connection issue or it's a. Uh, Collection issue, right? I 
I mean, you could like preemptively use say like a mirror of eruptors like preemptively or just like spam health pots right when you like cross um aether ground something like that i don't know maybe that can help Honestly, the skellies are pretty strong right now, right? I mean, they do die every now and then, but they're still pretty strong, right? Um, okay, we got a one pointer here for five points. That's pretty good, actually. Pretty good value here. Let's put this over here as well. This is another buff, right? That you can use, which will apply to all of your pets as well, as you can see. And yeah. This also will mean that I don't need to use this anymore, right? Yep, I can go back to my port and rest here. Practice leveling the rush. I mean, I did speed level a dervish without... I mean, I played a dervish, like solo cell phone for the... What's it called? SR50 challenge that I did with Milan Bass, right? The non bass challenge. Which was basically... Well, get to ultimate SR50 ASAP, solo Cephon. I wouldn't say Dervish leveling is that hard, but it's like Dervish is a very strong leveling class as well. Early part. You mean up to Ganavakar? I mean, up to Ganavakar, you just like play any sword that you get, right? And you just like play lethal assault and like play any like sword you can, can get, right? And then you play. Um, like kind of a cost things, right? Do I want to proceed here even more? Not really, right? I don't think so. Uh, let's go. Or maybe yes. I could go like up to Vanguard. Like up to Vanguard, Act Seven is kind of easy, right? Like, let's just go like up to Vanguard then, up to the Vanguard for three. That seems fine. Right? Like, once you have Ganavakar, it's super easy. I feel like... It's only like hard before Ganavakar. Like, once you have two Ganavakar, Dervish is so easy for leveling. Even for Solo Cephalon. I would say my one of my top favorite names for like uh, Cathonians is Attack Anatu. It's pretty pretty nice name. Attack Anatu. Name your child after a Chthonian hero. Nice. Nice. Alright, more shrines, right? That's also like the good part about Forgotten Gods, right? Like Forgotten Gods has so many shrines. It's pretty nice. It's one of those pet stuff, right? Subjugators. Lightning devastation, eh? I mean I don't wanna convert away from Aether though. I mean, I don't play Devastation right now either, but, um... Should I go for Siphon Souls, by the way? I mean, I have the Siphon Souls open right now, right? Hmm... I maybe should, right? Also Devotion, yep. Um, I don't need more than three greens, right? Tormented Souls, wait, which one? Oh, that's uh. Never mind, that's not even pet stuff. Uh, 
I mean, generally, yes, that's true. Um, some classes can go spirit heavy or cunning heavy. Um, especially, especially for end game. While leveling, if you just like wanna be safe, then go all in physique and only put points into cunning and spirit to like equip gear. Right, if you wanna be safe. But if you like know what you're doing, kind of, then you can like definitely um, put way more points into like cunning and spirit actually. Let's go into this, um... Side dungeon as well here, but I didn't get the quest right, you need a quest for this one. I need to like talk to Anorak over here, right? Yeah, just like one point, um, like Siphon Souls, right? Talk to the Jacket, yep, yeah, <laughs> Mr. Jacket, just under rock. Literally called Jacket. This guy's a. Uh, I mean. His first quest is a scam, right? Like, the first item you get from this guy is, like, I don't know, some, like, bad item anyway. Uh, might as well actually keep the pants down, these are pretty nice. Sell everything, right? And then just write. Pets over here, right? Okay, I mean, this one we used before, this one's trash, so. Yeah, we're fine like this. Um. These pants are pretty nice though, I want to use them. Why Act 7? Um, you want to do Act 7 for sure to like get your movement ability early on, right? But you could like stop after the first quest and then like continue on Act 2. However, I kind of, I don't know. But like skeletons are like super strong anyway, and I mean, you can like go up to Vanguard of the three, right? Up to here is pretty easy, and you get like a couple of devotion shrines on the way there, right? I get one here, one here, one here, one like inside as well, actually, right? Inside this dungeon here, and then one more inside the Sunbane Oasis dungeon as well. Hey. It's like not too bad to like get that. To like get a head start for devotion points, right? But I mean, you don't have to, right? You don't have to like continue after getting the movement ability, right? Yeah, runes of a bead shrine is also very easy. That's true. Nephos is kind of um, it's. Kind of easy as well, yes, but it's also like a very long walk, I feel like, after a build. Yeah, like Ulvar said, there are more important things to like focus on than attributes when you're like new to the game and like you're learning, right? Um, attributes are kind of like not that important. Just yeah, just like pump everything into physique and spirit and cunning just for gear. That's like all you need to know for now, right? Pretty much. And yeah, keep a buffer of like 5 to 10 points in case you find something for which you don't have like enough cunning or spirit. This guy actually killed my skeleton and smoke up. But they also killed him. Nice. 
Um, skeletons right now in Act 7 are not gonna work. That's well, probably in Veteran actually. Uh, in Veteran you probably wanna actually go for Ravenous Earth after like Act 1 minute. Like in Veteran Skeletons are gonna fall off even quicker probably. We did miss this Forsaken Savage Totem over here, so let's go back here and get it. Right, you you don't skip totems, like don't do that. I should also like, I mean if I would continue like playing pets right, like if you want to continue playing pets even more, like even longer, you should certainly like get a one point to blind fiend, right, like get this guy as well. Um, because he's gonna like tank nicely for your skeletons as well. Skeletons are kind of squishy, and if you play like blind fiend as a tank, it's pretty good. Only noobs skip totems, I mean, pretty much, yeah. And if you don't feel like comfortable doing them, you can obviously skip them, like there's no shame in that, especially like the ancient ones, like the ancient ones are the hardest ones, right? The ones that don't have any, any name, or like the, like the, I mean the forsaken ones and the like unnamed ones are pretty easy. Um, the ancient ones are pretty hard though sometimes. I'm only using this because of this offhand, otherwise I would not be using it right. This one has some like additional vitality, resistance shred, and well my skeletons actually do deal not only aether damage but also vitality damage right now, so it is not too bad for the skeletons. Right? Also, if you click on this corpse here, you wanna get the Tomfinatum here, which will allow you to complete a quest, which will unlock um, transmutation of um, sets, actually, which you won't care about that much right now, but like later on, you will care about that quite a lot. What's that? I think there is shame. Yeah, I guess maybe there is shame. So what you can do here is you can like leave a like a portal here, right, and like go back to, I mean go to this rift first and like port back again, right. Let's go over here. Yeah, I won't be playing um, pets for that long here. Maybe until like Kron, maybe actually until Amalgamation, we'll see. Like, I kind of already, like, skipped Ravenous Earth, so I might as well skip it until I get to Aether Ray, right? Witch Hunter is a very fun class, in my opinion. Very good. It's not that easy to play when you're, like, a new player, in my opinion, but... Once you like know how to play it, it's a very very good class actually. Would I of the untamed suffix here? I mean this is probably better than of the wild right? Probably. Alright, the reason why we're going down here is because of Naven the Usurper. As well as the shrine here. Come see what's left of 
Okay, again, we just set everything, right? Set all the stuff, not this one. And then we go for... Well, we just write pets here, right? There we go. And we can buy back what has pets and, like, look at those... Like, that stuff closer. I mean, this is a weapon. We don't want to, like, lose this weapon. So we're going to sell this one regardless. And we're going to actually use this one instead of that, right? Which means... I would have to... Use a new emblem here, right, to get my teleport back. And also keep this augment. There we go. Yo, Light Stalko, thank you so much for the Prime, man. Welcome, welcome. Thank you so much for your support and enjoy all of these emotes, right? Keep component, yeah, yeah, I, I, yeah, yeah. <laughs> thanks. I meant to say keep component, not the other. Okay. Did I say augment? Oh yeah, yeah, you can't keep augments. Yeah. You can only keep components. All right, the usurper. And he's dead. Over here in the sun, by the way, says you have a scorpion boss right this guy. He tends to like run away sometimes. And this guy has a, well, one-handed weapon, right, which is what I was talking about earlier for dervishes, right? If you're, like, playing an acid dervish, you want to, like, farm this guy to, like, get this weapon. I didn't get it here, but, yeah, if you just, like, reset your session and, like, farm him again, you're gonna get two of them eventually, right? And that's what you can use for, basically, like, an acid dervish for leveling. It's, like, insanely good, actually. You are outnumbered, cat. Alright, from now on, um, we're not gonna do much more here. Right? I'm just gonna go to the Vanguard, get the port there, and then open the gates via, like, um, bringing this quest back, right? Like, uh, handing in this quest, rather. And then we're gonna proceed with Act 2, actually. Alright, we got the portal, let's go back to Conclave of 3. And hand on the quest with the jacket, right? Hand on this quest, and then we're gonna hand on this quest over here with Kira, right? Kira quest. And we can hand in one more quest actually over here. Right? We found the Tome of Inato after all. With Cargon, right? This guy. Alright. We can go to Vanguard and uh, we speak to Drelios, right? We speak to that guy. He's gonna open up the gates here, basically. Right? There we go. We're not gonna slay the Mind Reaper, we're not gonna do that. I'm not interested in like proceeding the main quest here at all. The only thing I wanna get here is like one specific thing. Which is
the shrine over here. And yeah, I will use this guy as a tank for my skeletons now. Um, I'll suspect him to the second ability here, right? Rotting fumes. This one gives enemies a chance to fumble and impaired aim, which means they're gonna like miss their melee and range attacks 15% of the time, right? And also generate additional threat, it's basically like a taunt, right? So he will like be more likely to draw aggro compared to skeletons. It's actually an ancient one, but I mean this one doesn't seem that hard to be honest. Even though it's ancient. Okay, sold trousers, nice. If you equip these trousers, you can like literally throw around with uh, shit, right? Nice. Literally play a shit build, right? Best class for Razam. Probably Witch Hunter. When if you're playing ranged, then it's Deceiver. If you're playing melee, then it's uh, Witch Hunter. You can also do uh, Witch Blade. But I would say Witch Hunter is better than Witch Blade. Is there an actual Wamba Poop build? I mean, there is, yeah. You can, like, the mythical version of this, right, has retaliation damage added to attack. Actually, this one has as well. Oh, this one has retaliation damage added to attack. You can play like a acid poison retaliation character with those actually. All right, we're done here. Right? Let's go to Act Two, and I'll give you another actually like room tools link for this character, as he is right now, right? Should I use this one? Has additional Aether and Chaos Rust for pets. I don't really need that. Like, I need the other resistances, right? This one is not that needed. I did also, like, manage to find a Mark of the Traveler, which we're gonna use on boots, right? It's a pronounced boost for, like, movement speed. Okay, it's maxed out. I could also use a uh, pretty rune stone, right? Actually, no, you need the blueprint for rune stone first, right? It's actually like a faction blueprint. Yeah, we can't use that one yet. Okay. Uh, this, you can use like reset your devotions. I'm just gonna like put the stuff here into stash. Actually, I didn't get a slot necklace says yet, right? Um, yeah, I wanna get three real quick before we proceed here. Just like show you the ring that you can get there. for the blooms, Nadia. And if you don't know where to get, like, where to farm stuff, right, you can always, like, go over here to this rowboat, right? And click on this rowboat, right, and you're gonna be transferred to Hargate's Isle. And this one is basically full of stuff, right? Uh, this might be, like, too low level now, though. Monka. Wait, do they like reset with a higher level? 
Also, you can't enter this yet because you need like quest burger for that, right? Then actually reset. I think this should scale higher, right? It might be like low level right now because I went through like Act One at like level one, obviously, right? Okay, this stuff doesn't scale at all, but I think Harriet's arm should scale higher, right? Wait, they're still level 8, okay, never mind. This actually doesn't scale at all. Well, that's bad. Um, let me try... There's like another cave I haven't been to yet, right? Like in Whitemire. I mean, not in Whitemire, it's more like a fog bank, right? I haven't been to this cave over here, right? There's a boss down there which actually also has like a amulet to most frequent, right? Well met. Thanks for the follow, uh, Fryol. Welcome. On. All right. Um, where's the boss? Okay, these guys are about 30 in there as well. Yikes. Yeah. I might have already like over leveled here. Oh well. So 15, okay. Well, that's bad. He did still drop his MI though, at least. Like, I still got the amulet here. And I mean, why is this good? Well, it's good because you have 8% offensive ability to this Gandra's elemental exchange, right? You also get, like, poison and vitreous. It should be better than Amulet of the Eye, right? For sure. Okay. But I guess we're not getting any more slot necklaces at all here in normal. Oh well. I mean, I can still like show you the guy where like um, hand in your slot necklaces if you have at least three. Right? There's a guy over here right? in Whitemar. Like you go to Whitemar Rift, and then there's like a shop over here to the side, right? This guy here, Torben. Right? He has a quest. Here you can get like, I mean, you can like basically trade three slip necklaces for like a ring, which is pretty good actually as well. It's a pretty decent ring. So you might want to do that before like uh, over leveling for Act 1, right? I got it. Keep the other one again, right? Put this here. Uh, what do I put here? I have like nothing for my helmet, right? I actually have unholy inscription for gloves now. I was waiting for this one. Because that's pretty nice for like vitality and vidras. Very nice um, component for sure. Okay, I just finally time to repair this bridge here. Yeah, he died. I'm probably gonna like face roll this act. Like literally just face roll it. So the only thing you have to like remember here, like care about, honestly, is that you make sure to like get all the side quests, right? Uh, don't make this guy kill his family, please. There we go. Twenty-five and two hours. Speed leveling confirmed. I guess, kind of. You wanna get this quest and then go down here to the cave to like not miss out on the shrine here. Okay, I mean, I could max the salt as well, actually, Call of the Grave. It's pretty decent for like more pet damage, right? 
Sure, why not? For now, we can still do that, right? We're still playing pets, so why not do it? And Devotion Trons. Actually, I haven't allocated four points here. There we go. You can kill this boss if you want to, but you don't have to. He's... He has a monster frequent, he has like a shield that focuses around Electra's flash freeze. But I don't know, it's kind of a meme to be honest. Get the exclusive, you mean like a pet exclusive as well, still? And I could, I guess. I mean, I might like actually play pets until Aether Ray, right? Not the worst idea. Oh, FFOP Kappa. Don't kill this guy, by the way. Well met. You're a Roxorian, welcome. On. To follow. And Hopgoblin is here as well, Welcome. one. Welcome, Mr. Hopgoblin. Alright, just uh, in case you're wondering, I'm not gonna play pets later on, right? This is not gonna be a pet build later on. Um, I do play pets right now because actually I got the like Warden's Judgment, right? Which converts physical to Aether for pets. And that does make me like able to play Aether Devotions as well until I will switch over to Aether at least. And I'm also only using Siphon Souls because of the offhand. If I didn't have the offhand, I wouldn't use Siphon Souls right now. Like, that's literally just for the debuff. Like, for additional, like, 5... I mean, 20 Fire RR and, like, 8 Vitality RR. Because my Skeletons do actually still deal some Vitality and Fire damage. Like, the, the Mages have Fire damage, right? And all of them have some Vitality damage. Because this does not convert the Vitality damage. It only converts Physical to Aether, right? GD Snatched Warden Weapon. <laughs> I mean, if you don't get it on your playthrough, right, you can always like refarm Krieg until he drops this item, right? You can always do that. Please. Farming is cheating? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Pet Hater. I'm not a pet hater, but I don't like pets. I mean, I like skeletons though. Skeletons are fun. Rat jam stash. Skeletons are ASMR, you mean the crossbows, right? Like the... Crossbows and majors are like ASMR, basically. I mean, it's more like walking simulator right now, right? Like, I just walk and like skeletons are like gonna port to me if I'm too fast and then like kill the enemies, right? It's just a walking simulator right now. Um, you don't have to do these behinds, but I would suggest you to do them actually, because you can get royal jellies down here, and you need royal jelly for a side quest from the rogue pretty soon. And also bees are super easy to kill, and they give the gnostic XP, so I would always advise you to like go down here. It's pretty good XP as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah chaos pets are pretty good, right? As well, like chaos bleed as well. That's are pretty good.
You know what's funny, right? Um, Maya kind of decided to retire because she was wrong about pets being bad now. <laughs> so like, yeah, okay, they're bad now, but I'm still not gonna update my builds because I feel like my builds still suck. And they don't, but she felt like her builds weren't as broken anymore. So, so she was like, yeah, I'm gonna quit now. Right? <laughs> Fun actually. If you don't want to see this quest here all the time, by the way, you can also like disable it over here in the quest log, right? You can like, go to your quests here and then like disable um, the f a future foretold, right? That's how you like disable the quest here. Let's go back to photos real quick. There are like two quests to hand in there. Talk to Graven. And actually, you wanna keep the talisman, right? You don't you wanna lie here to keep the talisman. Why, you ask? You already have a relic. Well, once I switch over to Aether Ray, I might wanna use this right for Aether Ray to like it's the same energy. Yeah, Rick by League, Wickman, Wickman. Alright, again, we just sell everything, right? And then we write pets over here. Nothing, so we don't need any of these items, basically. Well, you work here. We have to hit them hard and. Okay. Yo, Skipper Wolfman. What build do I want to play later? Um, I don't want to play pets. I'm also like gonna retrieve two points here since we are actually playing pets right now. Like we're just gonna like all, all in on the pets for now. Um, but I don't want to play pets later. Right? I don't want to do that. We're gonna play something Aether. That's all I know so far. It could be Theodian Scepter. It could be. Um, Screaming Veil, Kedera Samples, right? If I get that from the totems. It could be Aether Ray, it could be so many things. Like, it's just gonna be an Aether Spellbinder. And Aether Spellbinder is like very, very flexible, right? So, I wanna like keep my options open here. Could also do like Aether Devastation, right? So many options. Alright, over here in the Four Hills, right, um, there's gonna be an arena over here. If you, well, may wanna like not die, right, if you're playing hardcore and you don't feel like your build is super strong right now, you might wanna like turn the camera like this, right, and then like walk past like this. Right, you can do that. However, this is only normal difficulty, right? And I mean, the build is not that bad, I mean, we're playing pets as well. So, we're gonna fight the bosses in here, right? It's actually the new, the new Adric, right? This is not, um... Right, they're still caught on the same. Why did they not call this guy, um... Adversarius Adric, actually? Oh, well. <laughs> but yeah, this is the new build, right? The, the second PvP build that he played. It's a joke if you can't. Wait, is the old one still there by the way? Yep, okay. Yeah, the old one is scarier, right? When he doesn't have the two ender, he's scarier. I mean, new one doesn't have stun drags, right? And like, the, the scariest part about the old one was stun drags, to be honest. Like, new one is a Vindicator, not a 
element, I mean, not a purifier, right? Yeah, normal is not that scary anyway. Like, none of them are scary on normal. Like, on Elite and Ultimate, they do get kind of scary if you're like. I mean, once you're like min max, they're also not scary anymore. But, like, if you're fresh into Elite, right, or like fresh into Ultimate, they can be pretty scary. Alright, uh, we got to kill Crony, right? I mean, we're already in his hideout, and we just walk through here because skeletons just get everything anyway, right? Don't forget to pick up the shrine down here, though. We also get the anals of Arcovia, haha! Alright, if you have chosen to either... I mean, if you have chosen to save Dareni, like to spare Dareni in Devil's Crossing, and act like the guy that was a traitor in Act 1, right? If you chose to spare that guy, he's gonna spawn over here, and you have to like defeat him here. Like, he's a traitor nevertheless, right? Even if you like, give him a second chance, he's gonna like betray you in another way instead, right? He's hopeless. I mean, it's actually good though to have him there as an additional boss, if, but only if, you wanna like farm, like infamy with this Kronis gang, right? Which like, you shouldn't care about on normal difficulty, to be honest, like, um, at least on normal and elite ultimate, um, at normal and elite difficulty, right, you always wanna kill him in Devil's Crossing, because if you kill him in Devil's Crossing, you get a free... Um, Blood of Cathon, which is like a crafting material, right? This one. A kind of a rare one as well. So you do always want to kill him in normal and elite. And in ultimate, you want to spare him only if you want to like farm Kronis, um, like Kronis reputation, right? like infamy rather. Got a big blue two-hander, but it's not really that good for the spell right now. What's up, Kronde? I mean, this guy's gonna be super easy on pets, right? Just make sure that your pets don't stand in his Aether Fire. Well, how do you know which of these Aether Fires is yours and which is his? I mean, you don't. That's like the bad thing, though. Like, if you play Aether Fire yourself, you don't really, like, know which Aether Fire is his and which is yours, right? I mean, he died in like 2 seconds anyway, so I guess it doesn't matter on normal difficulty. But yeah. Also, if you have this quest here, right? You wanna keep the crystal for yourself, so that you get a, um, well, Aether Cluster, right? And Aether Clusters are, well, if you're playing Softcore, they're kinda useless, but if you're playing Hardcore, they're insane, right? They give you 75% damage absorption to everything, you basically take 75% less damage for 8 seconds, right? But also if you like press this, then it's gonna be consumed, so you don't wanna press it like all the time, you well, wanna time this right for some situations when you actually need that, right? <laughs> Not just any anal, it's a Rokovian anal. That sounds pretty bony, right? Aha. Press it and kill it locker in 8 seconds, for example.
Alright, let's go back here and hand on these quests. Right, we've done some quests again here. Let's uh, tell the people that we have done what they required from us. And again, we sell everything, right? We just sell everything. Except for, well, the cluster, right? And then we run it again. Pets over here. And, well, we can't really use these, can we? I mean, this would be more damage for pets than the other one that I have right now, but, like, this one has so many sets for myself. Yeah, yeah. It's not gonna be pets for that much longer though. I mean, we're gonna go all the way to Act 3 probably. I'm basically, I wanna play pets until I can play Aether Ray. Like Aether, Aether Ray, right? This is why you need um, Royal Jelly for this quest right here. Right? And then you will get another recipe, right? And also some raw jelly bomb, right? If you're playing pets, by the way, um, you can also buy the route of the beast tincture from Rogue Restaurant. Buy a couple of these, put them on like whatever button you want to put this on, right? And you have like a steroid for your pets, right? Another 80% damage and 20% crit damage for your pets. Do I know a mod that increases the number of monsters in the game, including Celestials? You mean like something like... Um, what's it called? Like the Titan Quest mod? X-Max, right? I actually don't, but there is probably one. Have you ever faced off against the mountain in the league? You mean that I crossed the mountain? I have not in Season 1 now, but I will in Season 2. Oh, you mean in League of Legends? Oh. I was like, what? You mean like Grimdawn League, or...? Thor Bjornsson, nice. I haven't uh, watched any uh, Game of Thrones except for like the very first two episodes though, like I don't even know him probably. <laughs> Usually I don't, I always kill these scammers, right? But like let's see what happens if I actually like don't kill the scammers, right? Save them actually. Let's try saving them for once. That's also like a side area over here, right? Which they added on the patch 1.1.8, right? Let's check it out. It's a little slow near the town though. I mean, we can check it out now. Yeah, here you have a boss, right? The Colosseum Amalgam. Yeah, this guy can freeze, so like, be careful. And he has a stage 2. But if you play pets, that's uh, well, pretty easy. Right? He also has a monster frequent, this one right here. Which is a cold bone harvest shield. Um, but I don't know why would you would like to play cold bone harvest in the first place with a shield. But yeah, you can do it, I guess. Your 
also should be like a chest somewhere here, right? I think so. Oh yeah, over here. Respect into cold shield, like cold bone horrors? Nah, no, dude. Not on a spell binder, it's gonna be so bad on, on binder. I, I guess you can do it like on a ritual strat. Like that's also supports Raging Tempest. Or you could do it on... what is... It? wait, does stuff dropped up there? What the fuck? This was from the chest, right? Like it dropped from the chest, like landed up here. Nice game. <laughs> what? Wow. No devotions yet. I mean, we're gonna get one here. There's like a shrine here um, in the Arcovian. Well, not under city, but like over city, right? You wanna call it like that? I don't know. You know what I was what I was thinking? You could also like farm Warden Creek again, like do a weird this, right? Like you could legit do a weird this. Like play a, a dual wield relic. And then just like do a weird right? Hmm. Interesting. Have I played Renaissance Spellbinder yet? I have not actually, no. I played a Renaissance Apostate at some point in Softcore, like years ago. Basically, like when, like before Forgotten Gods, basically. Fire Jigs, the blind rip? No, it didn't. It's fine. Uh, do you do Dr. Magritus now as well? Or rather, I mean, I would prefer to do it at the end of the stream, like after I'm done here. So that's episode, but. Uh, if you like need to go right now, right, and you want me to like take a quick look at your build, we can still do it right now. Do an essence without retail okay or a meme? I think if you like play full or a burg set, for example, for Aether, that's actually fine. It's not too bad then. Certainly viable. Alright, over here in the other city we can like we should get these forgotten passages, right? These uh, le lectures. But how do you? How do? Are they, what are they called? Like the bookshelves. Ways blocked. Monka. What you can also do is you can like drop a portal here, right? Then you go outside first. You got the well, a portal outside first, right? And then you go back in to your portal. There you go. You can kill Ravager with Ursup as well. Yeah, you can if you like kite properly. Yeah. Kill this guy right for the quest. I'm gonna get the lectern. 
Click the Ancient Lectern. There we go. Also, there is a Blade Dancer Talisman over there, right? I didn't get the Radek Blueprint. What the fuck? You should always get all the blueprints and also click them because like the the more blueprints you have the higher your chance is gonna be to get the ones that you don't have yet right i mean not really in one way i mean you're, you're gonna like get less and less blueprints the more you already have but you also like need less blueprints and like for the ones that you do need it's gonna be like a higher chance to get those the more you already have, right? So you do want to click all of them as soon as possible, right? I was asking about damage reduction or yeah like the highs will apply the highs will apply only they don't uh, stack multiplicatively or additively it's just the highs will apply the others won't apply to like the highs will always like override the lower ones basically um i think i want to actually get serious total as well not necessarily because of the vitality to aether conversion i don't really care too much about that but rather because of well, thus giving me more duration, right? And because it has more duration, then the debuffs, including the like resistance shred from the offhand, are gonna like linger around longer, right? Also, it will look green instead of purple, which looks pretty cool in my opinion. But yeah, that's not like the main reason. Also. Main reason is just duration. Yeah, no partner yet, no. No partner. He's bad, man. Maybe next year, right? The, uh, the, the most powerful one is always gonna override, I think. Like, if you have 20% on one skill and like 30% on another skill, then you will have 30% damage reduction, not like 50% or something like that. It'd only 30%, not more than that. So basically, you wanna kind of only like use one of those abilities. Like whichever has the highest value, you, you wanna use that one, right? Like whichever you can get on your build reasonably and also has like the highest number, right? Like, there is a reason why there are, like, many different abilities that have the same type of debuff, because not all builds should, like, go for the, like, the same ability, right? Let's go back again on cell. I'm trying out the Grimdon Reborn mod. It's playing skeletons, they're so pork champ, nice. I mean, right now, there's still pork champ as well for me, even without the mod. Okay, we got the Crown of Command actually, this is very good. I will lose plus 2 to its Scandras, but I guess that's fine, right? But I would also like lose Vit and Aether as... I mean, this is only normal difficulty, right? So like, who cares about that? I will still keep this... Like, if once I play Aether Ray and I haven't found like a better headpiece, I will certainly use this one. Alright, these guys are at respected actually. Once you are at respected, you can 
buy these blueprints, right? You should certainly buy all the ones that give you components, as well as the relics, right? You don't have to buy the ones that give you like items, like craftable items, like this one for example. Oh. I mean, you can buy them still if you have like spare iron bots, but you don't have to unless you're basically playing exactly like that build or master to like get supported by this ability, I mean, or like this item. This one, for example, has plus one to all skills to soldiers, so like if you're playing a soldier, you do want to buy this, right? And otherwise, you don't want to buy it. At least not right now. You want to save your armors for like other stuff. Alright, we have already completed this quest, however, I do want to go to the very end here of this Arukovian Undercity because there is another shrine in the next level here. You forgot the faction blueprints, yeah. Yeah, checking out factions is very, very important um, for like a fresh start. Like, factions are super important. What are these mages doing? The fuck? There you go. There you go. They're like hitting the wall. Oh. Alright, and now, since we have um, the portal around, we don't have to like walk anymore, we just like port straight to this portal around. So we finally have this devotion now, which we can bind to Siphon Souls, for example. You cannot bind... Um, the... What's it called again? Arcane Bomb, right? You can't bind the Arcane Bomb to pets, because this is kind of... This is coded as a pet, right? This is like a bomb, which is coded as a, as a pet. And you can't bind pets to pets, so yeah, that's why you can't bind it to skeletons or like your um, blind fiend for example. Waiting forever for Gunslinger's Relic. He's bad, man. Okay, um, what do I even work on next? I mean, you can, like, just write Aether Damage here, for example, if you want to like, be not that creative, right? And then just like use whatever comes up here. I mean, I did. I want to probably get, like work towards Spear of the Heavens and Kovac for end game. Um, But probably also like Phoenix, right? Is there any like other devotion that has pet stuff and aether stuff? Actually, Ratosh is like pets and aether, right? This is a three green, I mean, a three yellow. Just like Phoenix. I mean, I guess I could like go for three yellows then first, right? Which means either Panther or Lion. Or even Crane, because like Crane has very nice resistances. Uh, it's probably gonna be Panther to be honest. Let's go for Panther next. Because I do need blues and yellows, right? Not only yellows, actually.
The wild fuck is like one point in siphon souls, almost one shot trash. What? That's so weird. I mean, Spagas Pass is basically the end of Act 2. Um, the boss of Spagas Pass is basically like the end of Act 2. Right? There is not really anything else to do here. And I could go to Subtle Torment as well. Um, that would be another option, right? But like, I don't have to. Right? Yeah, I mean, it, it is kind of a zero DPS debuff, but like, this early on, I guess that's still decent. And I guess late game, if you have actually like damage scaling for it, like scaling um, modifiers and stuff like that, it will be noticeable, right, for damage, and also lot steel especially. What? Iron was just not a cook? He was more than a cook? The fuck? Alright, um, we got actually this one for skeletons as well. I mean, we can't use it though, like, I need the scepter, right? There's no way we're, like, not playing uh, the scepter if we play skeletons, right? The scepter is, like, the build defining item right now for my, like, for my build right now. So we can't, like, switch around. Alright, over here in the mountain deeps, you gotta find, well, Dahlia, right? And also find a uh, well totem if it spawns here. And also find the shrine that's down here. So the totem first. If you wanna continue playing pets, you wanna make your way to Master of Death now, right? Actually, maybe not. Now, Master of Death actually converts physical to Aether, right? I mean, uh, physical to Vitality. Which would inf interfere with the physical to Aether conversion on this one, right? So... I probably don't wanna do that. Alright, we got lucky here, we got the shrine in the same place as Dahlia, right? This is one of the spawn locations for Dahlia. This is not guaranteed. Like, she's not guaranteed to like spawn next to the shrine. But if she spawns here, it's like the... Like the god spawn, you know? Best spawn you can get. Let's go back to Broken House real quick and talk to Minova to get an attribute point actually. Like this is a quest that you should never skip, right? The Merciful End quest line because, I mean, it's just like a short quest. Um, but yeah, she gives you a attribute point, right? Which is pretty nice. So 
So we haven't uh, spoken to Barnabas at all, right? We didn't even pick up the food quest yet. But I mean, basically he tells us to like go for Homestead, which is what we're doing right now. Here. Yeah, again, we just sell everything, right? Just sell it all. And then you look for pets, right? Okay, we're not gonna use that one because we need this one, right? So, yeah, let's get that one. Um, I'm wondering though, do I even push? deeper here or feels like this is not useful for me right now right even if i play pets this is not useful for me right now um soul harvest like percent all damage to pets but honestly it's not even that important i feel like it was probably a mistake to like go for like go this deep here i mean that's what's still be good but like since i don't need anything else here at all, right? I think I should like rather put the pawns into Arc Ministry. I like, start working on this stuff here. I get overload for like Aether Rest to myself and pets. Uh, maybe get like Mirror for like a panic button, right? Uh, let's put this one over here. By the way, you can still um, use energy and health pots even if you don't have them here on your bar. If you assign a button to drink energy and health potion over here, right? Let's see. Really? What the fuck? Ah, this is doing the new player cosplay, by the way. Let's go back to the Gulch. That one's Gulch. Start working on Panther. Sprechen Sie Deutsch, Nani? This is the guy that we um, saved, like, or I rather didn't kill over in our Coven foothills, right? Bender. Uh, he's gonna set up a shop over here if you don't kill him. Which is, well, pretty nice. Yo, Zivkir, welcome. Also, if you wanna care about the lore, right, you read all of this. I mean, when I first played the game, I read actually every single lore note. Uh, it's pretty nice to like know what's going on in this game, right? The lore is not too bad for an RPG, I would say. I mean, it's not like top tier lore compared to like other RPGs, like like uh, non-action RPGs, right? But I mean, for an RPG, it's I would say pretty solid, right? It's like decent lore. Also need to like get the Dalias or like Dalias Diary over here, right? Dalias Diary. Diablo has the best lore? Yeah, it's like... Diablo bad, kill Diablo. End of story, right? Pretty much.
I mean, you could either like put more points here or just like push for Maven Sphere, right? Let's get this run here. Tears for low notes. Um, way south. What's the other one? Um, actually, let's do the side quest here as well. Right, there's another side quest over here in this corner. You need some dynamite for this one, though. But I mean, I do have dynamite right now. The bathhouse, right? The bathhouse and Dark Whale. The village of Dark Whale has been a nice lore as well. Playlist, uh, I have. I mean, I can give you a YouTube link right now. Right, let's clear the cave here. Uh, this is basically it. Right now. There you go. Such a cute little girl, right? Such a cute little girl. Bonka. If you kill her, I mean, she's a demon, right? If you kill her, you actually get, I think, another blood of Cthon. So that's been nice to do, actually, if you like. I wanna get some like additional materials early game. Yeah, pretty much always also skip it, but like for materials it's actually pretty nice. Like it's very like material efficient, right? Like it's only one dynamite and like you get a blood of Cthon, like that's very good value actually. At level 75 and you got two weapons for your fatality controller and can't decide which one is better. Is there a way to compare? I mean... You can like try putting your different like main abilities on your left mouse button and like just looking at DPS, right? But like if one of them has, I don't know, some like additional stats that are pretty nice for your build that aren't like raw DPS, then that other weapon must still be better, right? Kind of like depends. Also, if you have a weapon that has already like a... Um, component on it, right? And you want to compare a new weapon to the weapon that has a component on it, right? Um, so you have to like hold on control, right? Then it will hide the component, right? And like show you the raw DPS. Um, increase or decrease without the component, right? In my case, it's only gonna show me for default weapon attack, which I don't use at all right now. So, yeah, I mean, it's not doing anything for me. If you have an ability that you can put here that actually is like your main or like one of your main abilities, like I don't know, Bone Horrors, for example, then the DPS is actually like useful, right? And also if you have augments on your items, like on your weapon, uh, that will also be hidden with you, I mean like if you press control, right? Then you can also hide it like that. But, like remember that, yeah, like the DPS here, like decrease increases always only for whatever you have on your left mouse button, unless you have moved on left mouse button, then it's gonna take the like ability from your right mouse button, right? Like, like double move to here, it will automatically go to like standard default attack only. Same thing as here, right? This always only shows you whatever you have on your left or right mouse button, right? Nothing else. If you like double move to here, it shows you zero DPS. I mean, this build obviously doesn't have zero DPS, right? Yeah, yeah, right mouse button can work as well.
Yeah, I think I've reached a point where like my actual normal default attacks basically do nothing anymore, right? Like I, I used to actually deal damage a little bit because of like some AOE buffs, but now I don't really deal any damage anymore. Unless I like start scaling my like player skill skills. Right? Uh, the guys here drop some pretty nice um, items actually if you want to play a Vitality cast, right? If you're playing like a Shaman or an Occultist or even a Necromancer right, with Ravenous Earth, then these um, items that these guys drop are very nice. Is there like a pet stuck in the other level or does this supposed to mean here? Like, look at this. Why does this have a health bar? Is there like a pet stuck in the other level or. What? <laughs> what the fuck? Skeletons fight monsters, Protoss valiantly finds treasure chests. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> That's like my game plan right now for me. I can just fight uh, clusters, right? Or, or chests. Two of these um, pheromone glands, right, to enter the queen's hive. And I think I either missed the first one or already got it. I guess I missed it. It's put over here, right? Uh, I only have one, right? Ah, uh, no, I have two. Never mind. Never mind. Skeletons have like no poison rest, right? They're gonna die here so much. Like, what about? At least against the first stage of this boss. Like, the first stage has lots of poison damage here, right? Like, all this poison shot come here. Uh, oh well, yeah, this is kind of bad. <laughs> Three summon my skeletons in a safe spot first, I think. I mean, you can just like loot her stuff first, right, before we even kill her. Holy shit, the poison shotgun, dude. Don't stand inside, please. Guys, what are you doing? Yeah, second phase is like super easy. At least for like these pets. Like, generally speaking, the second phase should be harder. But yeah. if you have no poison rest on your pets, then it's. Like, the first stage should be hard, actually. Alright, Baby's Feeder Protection. This is a bubble just for you, right? This one has. Well, 5% absorption on the first node, then, like, I think 5, 8, 10, right? So, like, the first three points are pretty nice. And I do have, like, plus 2. To Maven Sphere from my pants, right? So I do actually get exactly those three points, which are like, well, 10% absorption for basically just one point. So yeah, very nice value. Pet builds. The dead find bravely as the living sift 
shift through trash, bones clattered sadly. That's a nice haiku. Get shard, go a three. Yeah, that's the idea. If I don't get the shard, I'm gonna reform this guy. Like the boss here. There's gonna be a boss here, the ethereal amalgamation, right? Amalgamation. Yeah, we cut this guy, and if he drops the shard, we are Gucci. We can like instantly switch, switch over to Aetheray. If not, then uh, well, we have to like reform him again, right? Alright, hello. How are you? We got actually one wanderers of the Aether, nice. Wait, does this have pet prefix though? Do I still use pets or what do I do now? <laughs> do I still use pets? Hmm. I mean probably not because Aether Ray needs like quite some points, right? Alright, been there, done that. Formidable of readiness. These are pretty nice. But like these have Maven's Fear, right? Mm. Now, I think it's probably time to get rid of pets. They have served me well so far, but it's probably time to get rid of them. I should maybe save this ring though, like this is pretty nice resistance as right? I have literally zero, zero Chaos Runs. I need Chaos Runs, holy shit. Okay, Chaos Runs on these for example, right? I mean... I would lose Vitality Runs there. I need Vitality and Aeth, I mean, yeah, Vitality and Chaos Rust for the upcoming content here, actually. Hmm. I mean, I, I could, like, use Black Talos, right? Okay, what do I do now? Um, where do I get, whoops. Where do I get, like, easy Chaos Runs? I think Vulture has some, right? I could like take Vajra instead of Jacker, right? Actually. I guess I'm gonna retake the Panther points and like put them over here instead actually. You can do those costs as well, right? That's not cost here. Let's report in here. There was my I see my scouts have reported back. Report in. Talk to this guy. And now we're gonna sign with a faction here. Since we're a necromancer, we can only sign with with the vigil actually, right? We can't even sign with the comments chosen. And who do we have at respected here? We have Devil's Crossing at respected, we have nobody else at respected yet. Nobody respects us but the hands. Okay, okay, uh, yeah, get those quests right. Okay, I need. Um... I need some points, like I said, I'm gonna respect some stuff here. I 
I'll give you one last scrum tools for the pet version of this build, right? Level uh, 33. Level 33. There we go. Okay. And now we're gonna go for A3 instead. So we're gonna use this offhand. Right? This is basically what you need to play A3. This one re reduce your skill energy cost to A3. It will also give you crit damage and love steal to A3. And also it has actually Chaos Rest as an implicit, so that's perfect as well. And yeah, let's remove skeletons, right? As you can see, Iron Bits do scale up a bit here, but it's still gonna be like pretty cheap, right? Um, we have to like unbond these for now. Oh yeah, I also wanted to like retake these nodes, right? And put them to Vulture for now. Um, yeah, we're not playing that, we're not playing that. We're gonna put this down to 15 points probably, right? Like this. And now play this and also A3. Basically just max it out. I'm pretty sure. And then we want our soft cap mental alacrity as well for like skill energy cost reduction and casting speed. And wait, okay, this is not quite right yet. I want to max this out, right? I want to one point this. I want to push here. Then I want to put one point here. One here, one here, one here, one here, one here. I like this at least, right? Okay, now what? This and soft cap this right. Now what? Okay, how bad is energy now actually? It could be better, right? It could be better. By now you should have a couple of ectoplasms, right? Ectoplasms are what give you energy regen. So you wanna use ectoplasms, right? can use this in armor, rings, amulet and medals. So like basically everywhere where you had polished emeralds before, right, you want to use active presence now. Or actually also soul shards, right? True, 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 true. Soul shard is probably even better. Like play double soul shard down here, right? Here and here. And then we play like ectoplasm into this. Oh, it's head armor only. Wait, I can't read. I can't read. <laughs> Report, please. Um, I could get rid of this probably, like the ward stone here, maybe. I will lose a little bit of movement speed there. Okay. Probably like still play the Wrath Stones, right? Just for like the damage. And what do I go for next? Probably wanna like push for these two, right? Or I wanna max this out, right? actually. I'm gonna max up Spectre Wrath first and then. For the exclusive run. Yeah, that's pretty good now, right? I do, however, need another ability, right? I need another ability to proc. Like my bomb, right? Arcane bomb. I could either use Elomen or Ravenous Earth. And yeah, change relic runs like this.
more energy while mana infusion. Okay. I also use that right instead of that. And yeah, like use the uh, ectoplasm on that, right? Whoops. Whoops, whoops. 9k AR at this level? I mean, why not? Right? Do I want to use Elomen or Ravenous Earth Guns? What do you think? I'm personally more a fan of Elomen, but you can certainly use both. Right? Got the Chaos Rust over here. Met in Chaos Rust. The dress is maxed, yep. Chaos Rust is 23%. I mean, that should still be fine, right, Prodi? What did I put here now, by the way? Maybe like a Ancient Armor Plate, right? I have 172 armor, wow. Well, I mean, that's not the worst item, right? It has eight of damage. Yeah, like just use pots right as well. I don't need these anymore, right? I don't play pets anymore. Okay. Seems good. You don't want to sell this relic, by the way. You will... Like, the chance is very high that you will need this um, in the future to, like, craft higher tier relics anyway. So, like, you don't want to um, sell that at all. Yo, Teppy, Workman, Workman. Mark of Illusions, Greater Ectoplasm for the A. Uh, do I even have one? I don't have a single one right now. Yeah, I don't have those yet. I wanna use a low one though, right? There we go. Okay, now we just basically one-shot anything, right? <laughs> you wanna use a mirror here, maybe, or like a pot to like traverse this aether ground, right? Yeah, your commando is pretty nice, like the, the guard is pretty nice, Teppy. I like it as well. Alright, how do I get the crystals without like dying here? Monka. You don't have to go here yet, actually. This is like a side quest that I'm doing right now. It's not, like, this is entirely optional. Yeah, yeah, the stuff that I'm fighting right now is like the high A3 restaurant. True, true, true. That is indeed true. I need like elemental to A3 conversion, right? On gear, no. Like I need to convert the fire and lightning damage to aether as well. Especially the fire damage. The lightning damage kind of gets gate as well because like aether and lightning has very high overlap and devotions. But like the fire damage is so useless right now. That needs to be like um, converted to aether ASAP. Oh yeah, Kron is shoulders, right? As well as the Flesh Warped Cast, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. True, true. I'm, a g I'm gonna add a uh, Aether Ray version here in a bit. And different tools. Link. 
but I will probably have to like uh, get some items from Crony Gang members real quick. Oh, okay, yeah, this this is like a rough fight here with A3 right now. Let me go to Crony real quick. Yeah, second phase is always moving. Second phase always moves. First phase is stationary, second phase moves like slowly, but it does move. I need to reset the to like respawn the blobs here. I have uh, the necklace actually, Dargon. Oh yeah, thanks for that. Tip. I got it. Yeah, the Ascendant Helmet and the... Um, I want the Helmet and the Shoulders here. Both are like insane. But, like none of these guys are gonna have it, right? So might as well just skip those. I mean, we can't skip this guy though. He's gonna kill me. Just skip him. Uh, the Ascendant ones only like spawn in the second half here, right? It's kind of hard to actually get that helmet and shoulder piece. Like these guns, right? Well, no drops. <laughs> well. Probably actually like pretty hard to get these items like on normal difficulty. Like there are no elites. Yeah. I mean Crony himself could drop it as well, I guess, right? It doesn't scale nullification though, it's not a chronic killer. Well, should have spec into dust front. Actually, forgot about nullification against Crowley. Like, nullification can cleanse yourself from debuffs and cleanse enemies from buffs. So it's like very good against Crowley. Like, it can cleanse his bubble. I'm gonna try again. How's Tony Hawk doing? Even the guy that I put on YouTube, I mean he's dead already. But I mean I literally said he's dead in the first video, right? Like I wrote it in the comments. I should actually check these, right? Like Flash Warp Cast, right? Has um 6% away to IE, that's pretty sick. This one is also ordered, which means it has like additional chaos rest, right? I might not even need this other ectoplasm here, but like, why not, right? Just use it.
I mean, I put it. I don't know why I um, like waited so long to like put Tony Hawk on YouTube. To be honest, um, he has been played like last patch. I played Tony Hawk like in I think like October, November. That's when I played the character. But I mean, it's still like a very good character. I mean, just don't die, right? <laughs> just don't die with the Like, just don't misplay. Looking for the summit. I'm also looking for the shoulders. Yeah, Senate cask, yeah, yeah. I mean, I don't need a Senate cask that badly. I, look, I need the shoulders, I think, more badly here. I, I can totally use this one instead, right? This is fine as well. Like, this is very good. Like, what is that? 6% away here, 8% away here. Like, these items together <laughs> are like, what, 14% away on two items? It's insane. Like, that's absolutely broken. I need the pauldrons, yeah. I think the pauldrons have, like, either fire or elemental to aether conversion, right? They have conversion. Yeah, exactly. I don't care about the hammer, actually. Element to A3, yep. Yep, nice. It's really hard to find good amulet. You mean this one? Yeah, I mean, I guess the problem is that, like, this one has pro like, Acid Poison bias as well, right? So, like, you will get Acid Poison Previous suffixes easier than, say, something like Aether, right? But, I mean, you don't need the same for Endgame either, right? Like, you want another one anyway. It's just, like, pretty nice for now. Like, all the way to 94 is gonna be pretty nice. Oh yeah, Tyrant's hold area, true. True, 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 true. That's probably like, better to farm those anyway. Yeah, actually let's uh, do um, like Pine Barons down. Yeah, right over. Let's do Pine Barons here. That's probably easier. Like more efficient. You can like reset there as well right? if you repair the bridge. One point for chat, yep. Where am I going? I need to like go down here, right? And you wanna go to Pine Barrens anyway. Pretty much right now. So you wanna hide these costs again, like this one, right? You made it, so I found AR spare binder, nice. I mean, that's pretty nice, like, we can, like, link each other then, right? Like, I can link your build under my, like, your guide under my videos, and you can, like, link your, I mean, my videos under your guides, right? Just like how Neri and me did it with the Vitality Controller. Seems good. Hey, Root Girls, welcome on. How are you doing? Yeah, like, this is insane, right? Like, I mean, this is not bad. Like, I found a pretty nice um, helmet here. But this one is, like, even better, right? Doing good, doing good. Uh, kind of waiting for the league, to be honest. And jamming with chat, I guess. Welcome to Fishing Hat, by the way. Yeah, 12 more days for the league, right? Until the league starts.
But yeah, I'm working on another like solo Stefan playthrough for YouTube basically. This time it's gonna be an Aether Spellbinder, which well that's a pretty good, strong class, right? So it should be like a perfect beginner class as well, like a starter class. If you wanna like play an Aether Basically Aether anything to be honest, like Aether Caster, Aether Melee. Aether anything, right? Spellbound is so good for Aether. So hard to finish Diablo 2 before League Start? Yeah. <laughs> I guess, yeah. I mean, the. What is that? Hell? It's like pretty, pretty hard on it. Need to like actually farm items, to, like be able to beat it, right? My first tool is probably gonna be a. Like a shield breaker. Probably gonna like do a skater shield breaker. To. Well, first of all, to have like a good farmer, right? For items. And second of all, to kind of like um, at least have one skater at 100. Also, to like complement my. Um, eighth, um, like Templar skater that I put to YouTube. Which died at level 89, right? So that I will have like the Templar version at least up to level 89, and then I have like the Shipbreaker version, hopefully up to like 100 and beyond. For well, both the league for farming as well as for YouTube as like a guide. Aether, Theodin, dual build melee, yep, yeah, I mean, that's pretty good. It's like one of the many ways to play a binder, right? You can do Aether Ray, Devastation, Theodon, Kedras Tempest, literally everything. Even like pets can work, I guess. Like Aether pets. Alright, over here in the Shaded Basin, you wanna actually search for and find and enter the cave that is not marked on the map, right? You don't wanna enter this one, you wanna enter the other one. Which has a couple of like random like locations. I mean covered off like fixed locations where it can spawn and it's gonna like spawn in one of those but I always like kind of mess this up like I don't know all of them by heart that well and that's the other one again right uh, I guess it's like over here then like there's one spawn location like here there's one like here and I think there's like one here and then maybe like one here as well yeah there it is okay Uh, do you know what you're gonna play, Root Girls, in the, in the league? You're gonna try another Soldier Force Wave variant or something else? I think I'm just gonna push down here, right? Actually, no, I need to max this out first and then, like push here, right? There we go. At least one mastery to be new, yeah, that sounds good. Demolition, that's nice. So, you're gonna like play a commander? Commandos with a soldier, if you wanna do with Shieldbreaker, which is like generally way better for fire damage, if you wanna do fire damage, uh, then that's a Shieldbreaker, that's what I'm doing. I'm doing a Demolitionist and Old Keeper for the League. That's my starter probably. Yeah, like Shieldbreaker is, um, like it has just insane synergy for fire. Like Commando is good as well. But it's like, you level as physical and then later you wanna go fire, but you need like some... I mean, you can also like play fire once you have the Sun Herald's like two-handed sword. But it's like you need a sword, otherwise you can't play fire. Um, unless you just like play around Cocktail for leveling. But yeah, Street Breaker is very solid, I would say. It's a very solid and very like flexible class. If you like fire damage, like if you wanna play fire, it's probably like one of the best and like most flexible class for fire at least. Okay, right, we got the plus one Oscars to Arcanist Amulet here. 
this one here. Um, the like bad thing about this is though that it converts Aether to Aether and Fire to Vitality to Devastation. I mean, if I just don't play Devastation, then I don't care about that, right? However, it also globally converts Fire to Vitality, which I mean, I'm not skating Fire right now either, so I guess it's fine to still use this, right? On the other hand, I would like lose 8% away, right? Which is like 20, so like nothing, I guess. <laughs> um, I mean, I could just use it, right? Because then I get like more points to Aether as well. And this should be a DPS increase, probably not. Yeah, of course. Like, it's, it's gonna convert like some of the fire here to vitality, but like. That's actually better than Fire because of Spectral Wrath, right? Which has like Vitality Resistance Reduction. So that's like totally fine for now. Um, I do wanna make my way towards Spear of the Heavens though, right? So I need Reds and Blues. Which means I need... I mean, I could like complete Vulture. If I want to. I kind of only wanna use it for the... A bit in Chaos Rest though, like this part. I mean, this is Spirit though, this is pretty nice. Hmm. I also wanted to like get Phoenix, right? Maybe. Maybe not. Can you get Phoenix, Spear and Kovac? I'm not sure if you even can. Oh, maybe you can, we can try it out. Okay, let's go for Panther then again. Global fire to Vitbaka. Ah, oh, it's fine, it doesn't matter right now. It actually does increase my damage a little bit, even because, like, as I said, I'm skating vitality more than fire. Yeah, yeah, cocktail leveling is fine as commander, that's true. Like, you can't do cocktail leveling until you get, like, the Sun Heralds, like, two ended sword, and then, like, switch over to. Something like Fire Blade Arc or Fire Cadence or Fire Force Blade later, right? Um, I feel like for endgame, if you just. Like, if you play Cocktail, right, there's like no reason to play Soldier. Like, why would you play Soldier if you just, just want to like play Cocktail, right? Unless you play Retaliation Cocktail, right? But like, then you have to like farm all the Retaliation gear first, and that's. Um, well, that's gonna take some while, right? So fire Counter Strike? I mean, true. True. Yeah, Commander's like a pretty nice sword and board character, I guess, even while leveling. And you can like do Fire Force Wave with a shield as well, right? Like cooldown Fire Force Wave. Not too bad either. How about Aether Penalty with Slot Star Metal? I mean, it's one of the options, yeah. It's actually one of the options that we can do for, like, that we could go for later. Like, once I get to Act 5, right, in the Agdenborg, and go through Ancient Grove, and defeat Slothzar and get his medal, then I could play that as well, yeah. If you guys wanna see that. Oh wait, before, actually I'm gonna like drop a portal here, right? I'm gonna drop a portal here and then go to the other area, like over here, the new area, right? Because there I can fight Chronic Game members that have like the potential to drop the Aether shoulders, right? Which is exactly what I'm looking for. Over here you have Rutnik as well, which is like a like a mini boss, which also has like some Aether pistols you can drop. He didn't drop anything there. These are the wrong ones, right? These are the fire ones. I need the Aether ones. Like basically the same thing here, but like 
Aether instead of Chaos. I mean, uh, instead of Fire. Um, which means we're gonna probably have to like farm this area a bit. And if you want to farm this area, you will have to repair the bridge over here, right? So that you will get to the portal. Like that you can walk from the portal over here like quicker, right? There we go. Um, also, actually, let me get like go to the portal right now and then I like, go back to my person rift gate that I left at Tyrant's Hold. You can like clear Tyrant's Hold first and then reset to like farm the shoulder and I'm going Constant Attacker with a spell later on. I don't even know yet. I mean, I could go both, right? Like, depends what will feel better and what is like easier to like farm for, right? I mean, I'm not sure if I'm gonna like play this character until like min max endgame. I might do that later at some point. But it's not like on my priority list right now. The, the priority for now for this character is to like play as uh, like a pure solo Saphon character, um, basically up to ultimate Loka, right? Like clear all dungeons on ultimate and kill Loka on ultimate. Which is what I would say is like in like good enough for like a beginner build right? or a starter build. Like make this character able to be played from scratch and make this character able to farm leveling gear for other characters. Right? And once that is done, then I might pause playing this character and then maybe at some future point I don't know, make like make another endgame bow for this right? I mean, I do already have like a dual Theodian Spellbinder, right? So this might become something else later. But I might still like play dual wield Theodian like while it's still sort of set on right? We'll see. Fair enough. Flash Lord Carbine. Maybe Lucius. Yeah, you could also like play Lucius as well, right? Like Spellbinder is so flexible, it's insane. Experience Kolak. That's what you have acquired here. Let's check it out. Yeah, that seems solid. Right, you have Phoenix, Spider, Jackal, and Watcher, even. Spear, Kovac, Arcane Bomb, even, even Watcher. Yeah, that's pretty good. However, um, this lacks flat RR, right? I actually forgot about that. Uh, like, you need flat RR as well, right? You need uh, something like Razor Dead or Scales as well, right? Um, maybe you can get there kind of easy though, right? Let's see here, what can we do? Remove that. No, right. Now we need to like get um, something like Viper instead of Lizard Pro, right? And then we need the nodes here, right? We also need the last green, so like if we go for... I mean, this is like minus 12, like minus 10%, I mean, rather 11% casting speed though, this is pretty bad. We need three more. Hmm. Yeah, this is kind of sad, right? I mean, you would gain another 6% casting speed here again, right? It's like you only... actually no, it's 4%, never mind. So like you only lose... Um, 7%, right? 7%? Which is fine. But you need like two more nodes for like these two here, right? Hmm. Krieg has 20 flat RR. That's true, actually. If you like wanna play Krieg set, like why would you wanna play Krieg set? Right?
But yeah, this is interesting to know at least. Like you can't you can't quite make it there, right? If you play Phoenix. So it's either Phoenix or flat resistance shred or no callback, right? Like either you do Spear Kovac Phoenix or Spear Kovac Revenant. Or you do uh, Revenant Spear Phoenix and then like probably put the remaining points to something like... Um, I mean you could like do Hourglass, right? You could do... Yeah, like you can do Spear Hourglass Revenant Phoenix, right? This works. I mean you're a binder, right? You probably wanna like use Hourglass anyway, right? Like, imagine playing Binder without Hourglass. Nah, that's better probably than Kovac anyway, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You play this. This is what you will, like, wanna go for endgame, I guess. Okay, good to know. But yeah, thanks for the, um... For the link. Deepest sighing. Yo, letters, welcome on. Islil, how are you, man? Long time, we'll see. Scales, yep. I mean... Like, looking at Devotions, I don't think you want to go scales, actually. Unless you, like, don't want to, like, uh, use Phoenix, right? But which skills? I mean, that will depend. Right. You can always use Hourglass on to Cadillus Tempest, right? Like, use Cadillus Tempest and the Transmitter. That's, like, the perfect resetter for Hourglass. Like, the perfect proc of Hourglass. And then you either go, like, Aether Ray, Panetti, um... Devastation, Theodian, Melee, right? Let's see. Alright, let me reset and farm the shoulder pieces, right? Losing your back. <laughs> yeah, take care of you, man. And yeah, thanks for watching, man. Thanks for being here. Thanks for looking. Uh, yeah, we wanna switch around the glass, right? You're not playing pets anymore. And also, yeah, yeah, I saved like a pair of boots, right? For. Like, didn't I save Final March? I think I did, right? Yeah, yeah, I wanna use this instead. Way better for the build right now. Anchorites. I mean, I could use the th level like 37, right? But until then... Actually, these have casting speed, right? These are even better. Panetti offhand? <laughs> I mean, if you want to play Panetti, then I guess we play that, right? Could save it for now. Alright, don't need any of those runs. And I could save the metal to right? Uh, I could also craft a metal, right? You can actually craft a metal. Can I craft Ranger's Ribbon or Ranger's Badge, right? Pierce with bleed damage, I mean resistances rather. Sure, why not, right? Necromancers, which rolled plus two to Spectral Wrath. I mean, this is not bad, right? I should probably use this. Did I fucking sell my uh, movement organs, actually? What the fuck? Why did I sell them? I'm such a papega, dude. Holy shit. Like, what am I doing? <laughs> what am I doing? <laughs> Why did I sell them? Like, I told chat to not sell them, and, and I'm literally selling them, right? What the fuck? This one actually has Chaos from us. Might want to use these. Also, I should use Restless Remains on Gloves, right, for more casting speed. I need like way more Poison Rest now though, right? My Poison Rest is so low. I need poison rest chat. 
Yeah, there's a scepter for A through 8, Act 7. That's true. However, that one is for Lightning. If you want to like play Lightning, then yes, you should go for that scepter. Um, but I don't, I don't want to play Lightning, so... And it's still like okay early game. Even if you don't like don't want to play Lightning. But it does convert Aether to Lightning, I think, so it's kind of... Yeah. Not my favorite for this, but at least right now. Okay, how do I get more poisonous? That's not right here, right? And I guess also Crane. Is there a way to get judgment on this build? Or is it not needed? Wait, build not found? You have flashbang, right? Uh, you shouldn't use flashbang and judgment together. Like either flashbang or judgment, in my opinion. If you, if you play the flashbang, if you like prefer to play, play flashbang, then you don't play uh, judgment. Oh, you could like, you could like play judgment instead of flashbang, right? But like you don't want to play both of them anyway. So basically, either flashbang or judgment, right? Okay, let's get the poisonous here at least. I should probably like get more poison rests on on what though? I also need more movement speed now. Like where did my movement speed go? Hmm. Wait, I can't craft restless remains yet. Oh, okay. So we're gonna I guess we're gonna go for like more poison rests down here. Maybe even like one more, right? Instead of uh, like on shoulders. I'm gonna put like another one on shoulders once I find like the Aether shoulders, I think. That I wanna farm here, right? Uh, let's go and buy the Vanish Rig, I mean the, the Teleport Rig, right? Put this on here. Remove this, remove that. We don't need this one either, right? Ah, we don't need this one either. Okay, let's go to Conclave real quick. You did it. Nice. Nice, nice debate. <laughs> did you actually do it though? You didn't, right? You didn't. Wait, but like Panther is useless, right? Well met. Yo, Naomi, Wookman, thanks for the follow. I sense yeah, Panther is actually useless. I don't want to go for Panther then. I want to go for like Lotus, right? <laughs> Yo. OVG UTSO, welcome on, thanks for the raid. <laughs> welcome on, guys. For those of you that don't know, um, of Kutso is the mid laner that I play League of Legends with. So if you want to like check out some German league gameplay, you can always like drop him a follow and check him out whenever he's live, right? But yeah, welcome, man. How are you? How are you doing? Hope you had a. He's the guy you said is really bad, right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, typical Dargon, that's a typical Dargon move right there. Yeah, he's trash. Right, he's, he's like super trash, like don't watch him, Kappa. Nah, he's, uh, he's pretty good. It's... Oh, he's my mid laner, right? He has to be good, right? Otherwise I wouldn't play with him. But I uh, hope you had a nice stream, man. Look, man. Uh, what did I say I wanted to go for? I need like movement speed, right? I need Sailor Sky probably now. Um, yeah, let's go back to Sailor's Guide, actually. Or wait. 
Wait. I guess E is enough, right? I also should go for like Lotus for like yellows instead of Dryad. But if I use like two anti venom souls, right? Like one in pants and one. I mean, I don't need a poison rest, right? Fuck that. Let's just get the uh, yellow. There we go. I know Nidia, yeah, it's literally what I did as well. Um, we're farming the shoulder right. So we go to 24th Rift now and we cross the bridge there. It doesn't matter anymore which weapon is better, my character just died. Well, what shall I say, man? Get wrecked, right? Rest in peace. Oh yeah, I was buying the uh, the metal rent, the metal thing, the augment, which I for some reason sold. I don't know why. Toxic stream cup <laughs> minus five kick W. Oh yeah, minus five kick W rent. There you go. The rift gate, there it is, twin falls in it. He lost to a pro brush. But yeah, I mean. Welcome to hardcore, right? Welcome to hardcore. It feels bad at first, but like, you get used to just playing for stash, right? Like, just play for stash. It's like the mindset you have to like get into, right? Just play for stash and like retry with new character with whatever you had in stash, right? Play for GD stash, well, well. All right, where's this guy here? Rutnik, right? We're gonna kill this guy. Probably has like the highest chance of like dropping the shoulders, right? I don't care about his guns, I just want his shoulder piece, right? What's he running? Wow, nothing? Really? Really now? Should I kill all of these guys by the way, or do you think it's not worth it to kill like, all of these guys? Maybe I should like just farm Rutnik, right? They don't even drop it? <laughs> well. Then I search for Rutnik real quick here in the monster database. Right, when, when you like don't wanna. I mean, when you don't know. What these guys do, like drop, then you check them out on the monster database and like check out the loot. He doesn't drop it either, right? Wait, he doesn't drop it. <laughs> Wait, what do I farm then? I need to like farm the other guys, right? I don't. I can't farm Grutnik then. You can use the item system for uh, bigger stash. Send them Krona dudes, I mean, yeah, okay. Like these guys, right? Destined? Champion, Chosen, Destined. I 
I mean, the most fun is the the like the build that uses the ability that you like to play the most, right? Spellbinder can do it all. Like Spellbinder can pretty much play all the skills in Necro and Arcanist. Um, at least all of them that you can play as Aether damage, right? As long as it has Aether damage or you can like convert to Aether damage, you can play it. Right? Wow. It never drops, dude. Like, what is this? It's pretty hard to get, actually. Oh, there's no more here. I thought it is like Rotnik might like drop it, but it doesn't drop it. Right? Does Krony drop it? It might not drop the other end. Do you click this, by the way? <laughs> I don't know. Ah, it's normal, right? Let's click it. It's a Celestial Totem. These are like the hardest totems in the game, basically. But, I mean, it's still normal, right? So it should be fine. Hopefully. Also, like, maybe I should use my abilities, right? Like, what am I doing? Is there a retaliation spellbinder? Uh, no. Like, spellbinder is strong enough, like, it doesn't need retaliation on top, right? You don't need to play retaliation on binder to be OP. Alright, these guys, maybe? Nope. Nope. Wow. Wow, dude. No drops. I mean, you don't need the shoulders, right? Like, I already deal enough damage. But the shoulders would make this build even better, right? right at least you can, like, farm some dana material, I guess. Retaliation Calidors? I mean, you could do that, I guess, but then, like, you don't want to play, um... Like, you're not gonna play Necro Secondary then, right? You would be playing probably, like, Soldier, like... Retaliation Calidors, Tempest, Battle Major, right? or something like that. And this guy doesn't drop it right away and kill him. Wow. I mean, I will still farm the Shorters again later, yeah, yeah. I mean, I just want, like, one Shorter piece. Just to, like, get it right, at least once. But, like, getting these on normal is very hard. It's, like, way easier on Ultimate or even Elite, actually. But I'm still running around with, like, fucking Isaac's boulders from it. Like, what is this? It's pretty bad. Pretty bad for this level, at least. There we go. Star of Readiness, not even that bad, right? That's pretty fun. 31% elemental to Aether conversion as well? Yeah, it's totally fun. Totally good enough. There we go. Alright. So this will convert the uh, fire damage here and the lightning damage here partially to Aether damage, right? That's the idea here. Alright, let's go back to Pine Barrens and also let's give you guys the first link for the Aether Ray version of the build, right? Uh, next six, yes. I think, not seven. Or is it seven? Wait, is it seven? Could be seven as well, right? I don't know. Is it my mouth or is it... I thought it's my mouth, right? Not, uh... Isn't like... Isn't it um, God Across? Like the eighth of God Across chest, maybe? Oh, yeah, 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 okay, that's a bit too Aether down, okay. Good for Bat. I mean, do you need Bat, though, like, if you have this offhand? I don't know. 
I mean, you could always like use it on top front. That is like never bad. That's true. I do want to get rid of. Mm, the one point I have too many in here, though. I also want to get modification actually. Modification is a very powerful spell, like, you should be using this pretty much all the time whenever you're playing an Arcanist. You just have to, like, learn how to use it right, right? You have to, like, know which abilities to cleanse on the enemies and, like, when to cleanse yourself from debuffs, right? Uh, debuffs are always going to be shown at the bottom right, over here, like, above your energy bar. So, if you're, like, affected by debuffs, you can, like, pause the game and, like, check them out, right? So, let's see if we can get debuffed somewhere here. I mean, maybe in the Blood Grove, right? I lose Imp then? Yeah, that's true. Does it also have Fizzrus and Forgotten Gods? Wait, which one? The chest, you mean? I don't know. You wanna know what else is pretty hard? Not dying? Yeah. True. Did uh, Mike Fick die by the way, or did he not die? Um, where did I wanna go here? What, was, what did I say? Spirit guy, right? Yeah, okay. Oh, the chosen robes. Oh. Yeah, those are insane. Yeah, yeah, I wanna get those later. For sure. We're gonna get that chest in the second part of Act 7 right over here. Probably like next episode though, right? not this episode. Over easy even, welcome on, thanks for the follow. Alright, talk to the Taken first. Um, attack this guy, right? Just cut him. There we go. Yo, Patsa, welcome on. Also, there is actually one side quest here in the Blood Grove that. Especially if you're still playing skeletons, right? You should definitely go there, right? And like do the quest because the boss that you're gonna fight has a chance to drop like a helmet, or, like a like a crown as well, right? That has been a support for um, skeletons, right? So you wanna have dynamite here as well, like give her dynamite here. Uh, there we go. Right, open this up. And then this witch, which we just gave Dynamite 2, is gonna trick us and try to kill us, but we just kill her instead, right? Uh, there we go. Just kill her. And she has a chance to like drop a helmet, or like a like a crown, right? Which is pretty good for skeletons, but we didn't get it here. Oh well. I mean, I don't need it, but maybe you guys need it if you're playing skeletons still, right? Alright, over here in the Blood Grove, right, you need to find a couple of things. Like, this can be. I mean, Blood Grove is basically a maze, right? Um, you need to find the farmers, you need to find um, five Bloodstorm, I mean, Black Legion insignias, right? And then you need to. Well, you need to kill Bolivar if you are assigned with Comments Chosen, which we are not here. If you're assigned with a Vigil, you need to find the Malkadar's remains, right? 
Also, there's a Shrine here, and usually also at least one Totem. Which you can also, like, clear, right? Why not? And you can see, like, Debuffs down here, right? Here you can see what these do. Saps you from all of your defenses. Well, this one is just OP, right? It's just OP as fuck. Like, you can cleanse yourself from that. Like, instantly, and then, like, get reapplied. Nice. <laughs> But yeah, this one like basically reduces like all of your resistances by quite a lot, as you can see here, right? It just faded, like the resistances went back up. Uh, it's like one of the like Spectrum Miasma is probably like one of the like strongest debuffs in the game, and it's casted by like these Cathonian yellow mobs, right? Um, the Harbingers. It's kind of bullshit to be honest, but that's just how it is. You have to learn to like, well, like, um, not die while you have that deep up on, right? Hey, you're strong. Yep, yep. All right, here we have the remains, right? We already have the five um, and signals as well, and we did actually not find the farmers yet. They're over here, right? Uh, so here's the shrine, right? Grab the shrine. You can also like start collecting more insignias than five. Um, then you don't have to like farm as many, like find as many on elite or ultimate. Like you can't carry them over to elite and ultimate actually as well. Uh, let's go for what do we go for here now? Do I go for Phoenix now or not? I might want to go for Lotus now, actually. Like, Lotus or the Phoenix, right? I have GD Stash shoulders now, yep. <laughs> Kappa. I mean, they're pretty good, though, yeah. Can't complain. After the um, Rift Gate here, you wanna proceed towards Grass Mill, and then um, you can go over here to like the secret area here, for example, right? The Shrine of the Forgotten God. Uh, this has a chance to also like spawn a totem, so we can like get some more loot here, right? And also there is well, some lore here, right? And on top of that there is this statue over here, which has another totally normal shield, just like the one that you found in Forgotten Gods act, right? This one is pretty nice for like a Chaos Ocure Test, right? Again, level 15. Right? Mm, why didn't we farm the helmet as well? I already got this one, which is like 6% away, so I don't think I'm gonna care for the helmet on top. If I got the helmet before the shoulders, then I would have used the helmet, yes, but I don't know. I don't want to farm that anymore, like, that's so bad. Like, it's it just takes so long to, like, farm the normal to us. Like, farming the shoulders was already, like, bad enough, I feel like. That's for the season? No, no, we, you, you can't, like, play in advance for the season. You start your soul safe on character the second the season, the season starts and the season starts in uh, like uh, 12 like 12 days right? you can't like pre-level or anything like that that's cheating and also like you literally can't play on the mod because the mod is going to be available well on the 20th right like on not today so like we can't play the mod without the mod you know Am I practicing for the season? No, I'm not uh, either now. I'm gonna play our Shipbreaker for the season. I'm gonna play like Demolitionist and Oathkeeper. 
for the season. But I mean, you could certainly play this for the season as well, right? Like, this is um, like a decent starting build, right? Spam Bonder. And Spam Bonder can basically do everything, right? They're kind of like the Aether version of Vitality Causes, right? Like, you can level with them pretty nicely. They have very good, like, innate synergy. And uh, you can, like, easily get some, like, decent endgame builds, right? With Aether Spam Bonder. Even use like Creek Set if you want to target from that one, right? So it's like. Yeah, certainly like a good starter as well, actually. You need to die in stance and you gotta play Cold Trickster next season. Yeah, that's gonna be interesting. Actually, Wraith Caller's mantle is not too bad either, right? I think this is a pretty decent mantle, right? I got two of them already, what the fuck? I mean, if you're playing pets, that is, right? Not if you're playing what I'm playing right now. Never mind. I sort of thought this is like. Um, like more like a player focused sh shoulder piece which has like maybe vitality to aether conversion or something like that but it doesn't have that right oh well okay korba you're gonna play korba i don't know about korba man korba's kind of squishy yeah? at least i wouldn't play korba i mean i have played it on softcore like years ago before forgotten gods but it was like bad back then and it didn't really get buffed either, honestly. Like a little bit, maybe like here and there, but it's still like so bad. Right? I mean, it's fun. It's fun to play for sure. It's a fun build. Like it's a fun set, but it's not the best. But then again, like the best build is like the one that's like the most fun for you, right? So be free to play whatever is fun for you, right? Deathmark could be good. Uh, Deathmark Trickster? Uh, it's certainly better than... Yeah, it's better than Kobar, I would say. Yeah. The idea is to get to 100. Well, yeah, okay. I mean, even for that, I would say Trickster is not like the easiest, especially Cold Trickster is not the easiest for that, but it's certainly like doable. Uh, you just play like Cold Not Blade and like, I don't know, something like Mark Darts, Blades, right? And uh, yeah, you're like pretty much done, right? Like, you don't need anything else. They just use Shaman support, and uh, that's pretty nice. Um, what do you go for here? Anything that's like interesting here? I mean, I need like more armor on my chest pieces, right? This is like like 91 armor, level 15. <laughs> Should probably use something like this instead, right? Like, what am I doing with my chest piece here? Okay. Mage Storm of Celerity. This one has Vitality Resistances. Instead of Aether Pierce. Uh, I kind of like mine more. Ordered of the Flesh Hulk. I need one more seal, are you kidding me? Well, also Death Guard build. Death Guard would like buffed a lot as well, right? Like it was very squishy and trash, like a long time ago. 
It was basically the Koba of Reaper, like what what Koba was to Trickster. That's what Death Guard was to Reaper, right? Reap, like Death Guard Reaper was basically Koba Trickster. Like squishy and not even that good damage. Like Koba was actually more damage than Death Guard, I feel like. Um, but they also like buff Death Guard a lot, like very often and by quite a lot. So it could be good now. I don't know, I haven't tested that actually. But yeah, it could be good now. I don't know. Uh, Solosephon, Lightning, Devastation, Druid. Well. Solosephon, Lightning, Devastation, Druid. Wow. Uh, I'm gonna say not this year. So maybe next year, right? Only maybe. Yeah, Deathmark Code Infiltrator is like another story than uh, Trickster though. Like Infiltrator just is way tankier than Trickster. Will Corona get nerfed next patch? I mean like next year? Maybe. When they said the Roaring Twenties, that's not what I what I imagined, right? This like we're not in the Roaring Twenties right now. What is this? Uh, cleanse the miasma, right? And if I can reapply it again, like are you kidding me? Like look how long this like lingers when the mobs are already dead. Like that's so stupid, dude. Coroning 20s, yeah, pretty much. Question Do drops from normal difficulty have the same stat range as the ones from Ultimate? No. I mean, yes, it just depends on the level, right? Also, some affixes don't scale. Like, some affixes are pretty much always the same. I think, like, something like um, of attack, or like, not of attack. No, no, like the the flat values are usually like scaling with level, but the percent values usually like stay the same because like percentages just scale anyway, right? So like they don't have to like like there's no reason for them to like make higher level affixes have like higher percentages when like percentages themselves already scale, right? So something like aggressive prefix, right, which is like percent away. Will I think have like the same amount of percent away on like a low level item compared to like a higher level item? I mean, it depends on difficulty only because like you can't get high level versions of some items on normal difficulty, for example, right? because the mobs won't scale that high. So, like, you won't get uh, like high level items there. But yeah, the difficulty doesn't matter, it's only about the item level. And also actually the affix level, like you can get for example a level 84 item, but still get like a level 92 affix, right? That does exist as well in this game actually. Cathonians dying to Aether damage, yep. Yep. Oh, that was the Act 3 boss, which is for Aether A, like a super easy boss actually. Back to Homestead, right? Since we have basically done all the quest series we needed to do for the Black Legion. 
Stop Captain Soma, right? Already killed Keros. Seems good. Let's talk to Ikuzer Creed. Let's meet up with him at um, Forlikum. Clear the number as wall, and we have actually also retrieved the Black Legion insignias, right? I might want to use like a different chest again there, right? Like this one isn't even that great. Also my pants and boots have kind of like low armor for this level now. So something like resistant of survival could be better than Final March. On the other hand, it still has Aetherus, which I do kind of need unless I want to like invest into Overload. Mm. One important thing, right? Um, you might remember how I had a plus one all skills to soldier belt available to me from black I mean from Devil's Crossing, right? There is also a belt for plus one Arcanist, right? Now I just wonder where do you get that one? Is it from like the outcast or somewhere else? It's actually from the vigil, right? You get one from the vigil, death cord from the vigil, okay. So we need to um, get like the vigil up to re res like respect it, right? To get the blueprint. Which means we should be doing the requests, right? Your Mabadi, welcome on. Relatively new player, around 5 weeks. Have made my own build and managed to down Ultimate Ravager and Mokjogan. Yeah, that's very good for 5 weeks of playing this game, dude. That's insane, congrats, man. Like five weeks into this game, I haven't even beaten normal difficulty, I think. Like when I was started like playing this game. But struggling with Kalagadra, any gearing tips to have with that fight? Um yeah, Kala for Kala you need physical armor, like physical rest, armor and pierce rest. Basically. Or you just cut it around, like permanently until she dies like after half an hour or something like that, right? But yeah, Kala is like, she's she's certainly like, you can feel that she's harder than Ravager even and Mogjogan for sure, like she's another level above those other two. But I mean, what kind of build are you playing? Like, without a build, we don't know like what you should improve on or like focus on it. Okay. Well, yeah, that might help. Based Sigil and Doombolt Sentinel. Oh, uh, okay. That does not sound like a good color killer. Um, because, like, you want her to stand inside your Sigil, right? Otherwise, you won't heal. And also, like, won't do the damage that much. I mean, Doombolt, you can cut with Doombolt, right? But, like, Sigil is kind of not that great unless you can face tank, right? I don't know, how did you kill Ravager? Were you like able to face tank Ravager on your build or did you have to kite the Ravager as well? I mean I guess you were like able to face tank first phase, but like second phase after like it drops to 50%. You probably need to like kite, I guess. Yeah, there you go, you can link your build now. Or at the end of the stream, actually, that would probably be better. But like, you don't have to pay blooms anymore. Like, Sun of Frog already like nicked it. I mean, okay, there it is. For example, this guy, right? He has a mirror up, right? He has basically the Arcanus skill mirror, and you can just nullify this boss, and then he doesn't have it anymore, right? Same thing for like Crony Bubble, right? So yeah, notification is a great ability, you just need to like, learn how to use it. This guy's pretty eighth resistant. Okay, nice. Pretty 
mir da nochmal das Wort. And let's report back to the Vigil, right? We were working on getting a plus one to all skills um, Arcanist bird here. I think we should be respected now, right? No? Wow. Normal doesn't give you any reputation, what the fuck? <laughs> it's kind of hard to like get reputation up on normal, I guess. Oh well. It's even more worth than up we were. even even better then. Unless you have like 500k, right? I used to actually think that like armor absorb would just like it basically was like armor absorb um, percentage multiplied by your armor, and that's like your effective armor against any, everything. But like that's not true, right? Because like if you have lower than 100% armor absorb and uh, you have like a higher amount of armor, whatever you like, whatever damage you take below that armor value, you're still gonna like take the missing percentage as damage, even if you have like more armor than what you. Like, than the receiving hit that you get, right? Which is why 100% armor absorb is actually like really important. Like, I, I didn't understand armor absorb for like actually a long time. Like, properly. I thought it's like just armor value multiplied by armor absorb, and that's like what you always absorb. I thought it's worse than that. Like, if you go below 100%, it's worse than that. Or monsters have 70%? I don't know. That sounds like a Diablo 3 mechanic. I mean, considering the only RPG I played before Grim Dawn was Diablo 3. Yeah. <laughs> You're probably right. That's probably like why I thought it's working like that as well. Dude, all of these trash moves are just like dying to a one point element with like arcane bomb attached to it. What the fuck? Maybe not. I mean, these aren't like. Yeah, these are the super tanky for trash moves. I mean, Astakhan Road and Astakhan, like, all of this part here is kind of not that interesting to be honest. There isn't that much of value that you want to, like, do here, right? You just want to, like, walk the road until you're at the Fort Icon, basically. And there's, like, a hidden path part here, but we're gonna not do that today anyway.
All right, there's another shrine here, which, well, I'm not gonna be able to clear right now either. But there's also another shrine next to the Rex Rift Gate here, which we can actually take. All right, there's a Rift Gate, right? Ascaran Valley Rift Gate. And then next to this one, to the left, right, like the west north west northwest, we got um, this shrine here. Which has a shit loot, but at least it has a devotion point, right? Go for Lotus, right? Lotus and two Phoenix, I think. That's the play here. Yo, I know Kung Fu, Pokemon. Uh, but hit Hardcore Ultimate for the first time as Physical Dog Char. Hey, what? You're playing like Physical Pets or. What is a Physical Dog Char? Reading about physical reflect scares me a lot. Um, I mean, you need. What's it called? Hey, you need um, physical resistance and you need reflect reduction. Basically, to like. Don't die. I'm gonna check out your build in a sec, Extreme Gamer. I'm gonna probably like. Move to Fort Icon here and then finish this episode in a way. And then we can check out all the builds that you guys want to see. Yo, SKT, welcome on. Welcome on Super QT. CSGO. <laughs> maybe next week. Like, maybe on the weekend, I don't know. Not today. Uh, literally corrected himself. Physical damage. Oh, my bad. <laughs> yeah, I can't read. My bad. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I, I played that internal trauma like Warlord as well on Hardcore Ultimate, even though I could cut up with it. As I said, like you need physical resistance, like physical resistance, and you need a uh, reflect duration reduction, like reflect reduction and physical resistance, or also like flat absorption, right? Like if you're playing a Warlord, for example, you can like use like ascension, right? Whenever you get reflected, just like prop, like uh, use ascension, right? Then you're kind of fine. But it can still be scary, like ideally you wanna not hit any reflect mobs at all. Like usually you don't like usually you're not gonna die, but um, Yeah, you need to like be careful still. Alright, level 40. As actually, why did I like not use this right? Like what am I doing? Practice power. Obviously you wanna like put this to your bar and like use it right. Why do you wanna max this out before this? Well, um, I don't really have that much lighting to Aether conversion yet, right? And this one is just like percent Aether damage and also it's constant speed, so it's pretty nice for like scaling the base part of Aether Rain, right? Yo, Valkyria, welcome. Thanks for the follow. What is that? The old. Oh, the Blade Spirit build? Yeah, the Blade Spirit builds are like. I mean, they have good damage, but they are like so squishy up with like, I don't know. Blade Spirit, like, infiltrators. At least they look like super squishy on paper to me, and also like whenever I, I look at their like crucible videos, they also like ver look very squishy. I would not really like to play something like that on hardcore, probably. 10k TBS level 25. 
I mean, you also play the other scepter root. Like you play the uh, like you play Latin root. You play like the Latin scepter probably. I had uh, what was it? Yeah, 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 you play that. Right. I'm not doing that. I'm playing Aether. I mean, even if you play Aether, you like the scepter is probably like better audio on like between level like say 20 and uh, 30 or something like that, like 20 and 40. I don't even know why I still have this. Like it's garbage, but. <laughs> It's like an Act 1 weapon, right? I mean, I was playing like Aether Skeletons until like level 30 since I got this item, but yeah. Yeah, yeah. And dodge is like good enough, honestly. It's... But yeah, you can have a little bit more if you're like a super QT, like SQT. Um, I mean, I had like 8k when I switched over to this um, setup, I think, at like level 30 ish. I like, I think 8k or 9k. But yeah, I probably won't even like play Aether Ray all the time. Like, I'm just playing Aether Ray now because, like, at this stage, it's probably the best thing you can do on a Spellbinder. You... I mean, I might switch over to something like Theodian later. I don't know. We'll see. Or even like um, Lucius Blade Arm. Uh, is this gonna be an AR build? I mean, yeah, I don't know. It's gonna be an Aether Spellbinder. That's like all, all I know, right? It's gonna be like a beginner from the like, Soul Cell Phone Aether Spellbinder. Which. Spell, like which skill we're actually gonna use in the end game, or like while leveling, I don't know yet. I mean, right now I'm playing Aether Ray, which is pretty good for leveling. I mean, the only bad thing about it is like it has bad mobility, right? Like, you have to stand still to attack. It's like the, what, the bad thing about it. But damage is like very good on Aether Ray for sure, it's like super good. Even without the like scepter with which you can have like 10k damage level 25, right? I feel about maxing out Necrotic Edge on a Cold Reaper. I mean, it depends. I wouldn't max it out. Like, I wouldn't put uh, like a priority on it. If you have like lots of spare points and you don't have anything else that you like want to put points into, then yes, you could max it out. Otherwise, I would say no, don't max it out. Also, is it like two-handed or like dual wield? If it's like dual wield, then you want to max out execution instead, right? Uh, let's actually go down here as well. There's like a shrine down here, which is kind of expensive, but a normal is not quite as expensive on, like, as like on elite and ultimate. And you do want to get like your devotions basically ASAP, right? So you should like take every shrine that you can get on normal at least. On higher difficulties, you can be like pickier. You don't have to like take all of them and elite and ultimate, but like a normal, you do kind of want to like get all of them. Right? Yeah, yeah, double marketer's blade is very good as well for uh, Reaper. I like that a lot. Like double marketer's blade work. Um, you can even do the like axe, right? The spectral battle axe, like this one right here. Uh, this one's pretty decent as well, actually. Has like 60% weapon damage to Necrotic Edge. Not too bad either, actually. But I guess for single target damage, that execution should be better, right? Like, it's just execution, right? Like, it's, it has to be good, right? Devotions, uh, let's get some more in the Lotus front. Just nullify the reflect knob, right? 
I mean, you don't have to in this build, but if you're playing like a dot build or like a physical build, right, you want to always like notify your like the enemy um, reflect auras. At least if you are an Arcanus, right? If you're not an Arcanus, then well, just play Arcanus, right? Let's go back here. Uh, code Aether Ray? Yeah. Uh, it's a Condit, right? I think it's a Condit, um, like a Condit Amulet, I think. Alright, do we need anything here of any of this stuff? I don't want to upgrade shoulders, right? I want to, like, maybe upgrade pants. Star of Flesh Hulk? I mean, these have, like, Maven Sphere, though. I want to update, like, chest, right? Yeah, I want this, right? That's pretty good. And I want to buy, I mean, I want to get the blueprint for the belt, right? Uh, boots, also I want to upgrade boots, right? And maybe even the helmet. But like, this one's actually worse than what I have, right? Yeah. What does one do? Cold Caterers Tempest? The other one was Latin Caterers Tempest, right? This one? I mean, I don't want either of that. And do I want to use these? I mean, they have like more armor, but other than that, they're not even that good. Don't die at level 69, smile. Smile. Stay around, man. Even the Aglum Bloom Shrine? I mean, on normal, you could even do that one, yeah. I think so. I mean, the, the Aglum Bloom Shrine... The Aglum Bloom Shrine is only one bloom on normal, right? It's two blooms on the later, three on ultimate. So, like, doing it on normal is fine, I think. Only one bloom, right? League is in 12 days from now. It's just there so that like people know they can sign up, you know. My bad Kappa? What do you mean Kappa? I was pressing this whatever. Let's go back to the Bastion here. Valkyrie for the 500 bits. Oh shit, thank you so much, man. Thank you for all the gods. Your fire aura paladin gun is amazing for beginners. Thank you, man. Very much appreciate your support, man. Thank you very much, man. Yeah, hopefully this guy is gonna be just as amazing for beginners as well. The Spellbinder. I mean, it should be. Like, Spellbinder is a... Uh, Pretty good class for beginners. What about supplementing Code Aether A with Arcanum Frigus Devastation? That's not a bad idea at all. I mean, it should be pretty good. I think. Vodka. Oh, there's no vodka here. I am still respected. Are you? Kidding me, I need this bad right? This one, right? Death Scored. Plus one Arcanus, level 35. Oh my god. 
Alright, we found Dreadnought footpads. I mean, yeah, just use these, right? They have like very good armor, pierce runs, feather runs, movement speed. Just use them, right? I still need to use like a marker of the. Oops. Mark of the Traveler there. There we go. Okay. You know what I'm thinking about, by the way? You know this like Mage Slayer full freeze spellbreaker, right? What if you play Frostguard Tinctures on that build to like freeze even more, right? To like extend the freeze. Hmm. Well met. But yeah, I guess we're not gonna get the bell today. Feels bad, man. Can I do bounties with them already, or can I not? Yo, Louis Nux, thanks for the follow, welcome, man. Uh, bounty table is over here, right? I think I need to be. Yeah, I need to be respected, right? Oh well, there's only killing ethereals and comments show them, nothing else. I mean, I could actually, like, try running Fort Heron, right? Real quick. Because, like, there is... Um, I mean, I don't need the helmet from the boss there, right? I don't need the virus might helmet there. But just for, like, some... Ex like, some invitation, maybe? How much do I need? I need, like, 808, right? That should be easily... Easy to get here, right? 806 now. Seven fifty nine, yeah, yeah, this I should have this in like one run here, right? So, uh, like just clear like kill all the bombs here. Kill every single one. like this. <laughs> yeah. Not like this. Okay. How much more? Uh, okay, actually maybe I have to like run this twice, never mind. Dead, man. Or even thrice, what the fuck? I'm not sure if I'm gonna do that. I mean, you could like run this twice or thrice, right? To like um, get this up and then like buy the blueprint for the belt and like craft the belt and like use the belt instead of this. Um, well, I mean, I'm gonna do it right now. Like, this belt is just. I can't end the stream like this, right? It's like. This belt is so bad. <laughs> Okay. 
What I even play for like my one lander, like like my weapon here by the way. Like this is um It's like fine, but it's also like bad, right? It's actually kinda bad now. It's like super bad actually. I need to like check out faction vendors as well, right? For Aether Ray. I mean, dodge is still fine, but yeah, they could have more, right? Could definitely have more. Would I try code AR? Probably not. I know Plasma has played it. Plasma Strike has played it. Maybe I can like find his Grim Tools or like tell him to like send me his Grim Tools again. I mean Plasma Strike even played Acid AR. He played all the ARs I think. Except for Lightning. But I mean I played Lightning so. It's Then again, I haven't seen Plasma in quite some time, like he's only playing WoW nowadays. There is Acid AR? Yeah, there is. You can make it work. It's not like, good, but you can make it work. Like, it's not insanely good, but you can make it work. I mean, you basically use the necklace I used, like, earlier, right? The one that has, like, Global, I think, Aether and something else to ask the conversion, right? You basically use that and then some other stuff, and then you... You're basically done. Yeah, exactly, in the necklace. Shoot it, necklace. Okay, how much more do I need here? 200, okay, one more run. Yeah, I think so too, Toma. Like, I mean, he's been playing the game a lot. And he's been doing so many builds and hardcore. Even did like one PvP tournament with me as well. well met. Like I, I like that he still did that. Like I, I felt like he was already like burned out when the PvP tournament happened the first one. Like him still participating well was already like more than enough for me, you know. Yo, Sir Baker, Sir Barkar rather, and Jordo. Welcome on, thanks for following guys. Alright, all right. level what, 41 here. Oh yeah, the Venom Launcher as well, yeah, true. Exactly those two, yeah. That's what you need for Acid AR. Like, you could even play like Soul Stephon, right? Like, you play a, what, Templar, for example? Like, Templar or um, Warlock, right? Or even Spellbreaker, I don't know. Probably the, like Warlock or Templar, right? I mean, no, you need to play Warlock, right? Because of Blood of League, right? Yeah, you need to play Warlock, right? My bad. I think the modifier is for Blood of League, right? On the necklace. Yeah, Alchemist Rings are like... <laughs> I don't know, I feel like Alchemist Rings are only good if you actually need the conversion. Like, if you can make good use of the, like, Pierce to Cold Conversion, then they're actually good. Otherwise, they're not even that good, like... I don't know, I would rather just, like, play a Living Ring and a, like, a, like Eternal Haunt Ring. Or just, like, play two Blue Rings, right? But, like, the Blue Rings are kind of squishy, I feel like... Like, they have very good away, but they're also kind of squish. But then again, like, you don't need tankiness on rings that often, right, so... 
you can get away like using blue rings or like mini builds, I guess. What's my devil's crossing rap like? It's uh, respected, I think. <laughs> yeah, it's respected. Wait, do they have like an Aether Ray weapon? Maybe I'm like... Okay, I didn't check them out properly, maybe, I don't know. Alright, we should be... Respected here, nice. Okay, let's go back to the vigil. Let's buy the belt, the belt, belt blueprint. They have an Aether weapon. Okay, I'm gonna check it out, yeah. I mean, I just need pretty much any Aether weapon. Like, like this one has 55 Aether damage, that's like all it has. And has like plus 2 Escandras, which, well... It also has like 4% OA and like 5% health. Like, it's not that bad for like OA and health either. Alright, we buy this, right? We buy this. We buy this. We don't buy this. We buy this. And we buy this. There we go. Alright. So we buy basically all the components and we buy the blueprints for the gear that we want. Right? Also, um, let's check this for Aether Ray, right? No, oh, okay. Sorry about that. We don't have any gear. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna doctor like in a sec here. I have like. Um, yeah, the build open as well by an extreme gamer, so. Basically, in like five seconds, it's gonna happen, right? Let's check out Devil's Crossing Rep here as well. What am I doing with my weapon, please? Stop. <laughs> okay, the Aether weapon is this one, right? It actually has casting speed as well. Yeah, this is not too bad at all. I just need like one more cunning, right? I need literally one more cunning. It has casting speed on it. And crit damage should aid the blast. I mean... What can it roll though? Like, can it roll more than 9%? Maybe, right? Okay, how do I need to get like one conning? I mean, I pull one point like here, right? And like put one point here. There you go. So I get one one conning. I mean, I only lose seven away, and I lose like 200 HP. I and mean, that's totally fine, right? Yeah, 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 we could totally use this weapon for sure. Thanks for the suggestion, by the way, Toma. I mean, it's a level what 35 item, and it's yeah, that's fine. It's totally fine. That is pretty good, pretty good indeed. Put on the second aura again, we have 14.6k leaps now on this thing. 60.4 with the Radic Active, that's not too bad. Casting speed could certainly like still be way higher, right? If I got like this one with like of celerity suffix, would be pretty good. Also I need the restless remains, right? Where do I get Restless Remains, by the way? I don't get it here at least. And I don't have respect it with anybody else. Oh, Homestead actually, and Rovers. Wait, let me check out these as well. But where would the mouth look like if I have 100% local Aether to Elemental and 100% local Aether to Cold on Devastation equipped simultaneously? Uh, it will be... Basically the same as 100... Wait, no, this should... Yeah, this should be coming at the same time, right? So it's like 50%... It's basically 50% cold, 25 fire, 25 local... Uh, lighting, right? I think so. Okay, again here we buy everything, right? That is not a... Belt? Oh yeah, here's the rest of the remains. And runestone as well, nice. I think this is all I need, right? There's nothing for Aether Ring, okay. Uh, let's check Homestead as, um, as well, right? Homestead over here. <clears throat> I 
Home side actually has like really good boots, right? The harvest trees, and these are not bad at all. Even sanctifying bone. Yeah, these are really nice. But they don't have like anything for Aether, right? Uh, then it's fine. That's fine. I got my blueprints that I need, right? Now, what do we craft? Do we craft runestone? I think I actually want to craft runestone, right? Which needs three ward stones. Alright, a runestone for my head. For my forehead. Um, restless remains, right? For gloves. Which means I will need another anti venom self somewhere. Or try to like buy poisonous gear. Like, uh, like I could use other boots or like pants, I guess. I need like po acid, poisonous gear. Well, not on the helmet, ideally. Maybe like Robus has something here, right? Coven has some IR armor. You mean uh, Agdenborg Coven? Uh, shoulders are no go. Boots, but well, they have like garbage armor, right? Hmm. I guess I'll just live with like no poison rest on. It's fine. Like, this is normal anyway, right? Like, normal Omega Lol. Right. Right, this one actually has cunning, right? Monka. Okay, this one gives me like more casting speed, right? Another 10% casting speed. That's huge. And then, um, yeah, like I should probably like, go for a uh, runestone on the head, right? For like more elemental and aetherus, and then we go and delete this actually, and instead like use another and do another cell, right? There we go. This looks good, right? I'm gonna put all my stuff here into my local stash. If you are playing yourself, right, like if you're, if you're playing um, this on your account, you should probably be putting everything into your shared stash, right? Especially when you play hardcore, because if you die in hardcore, you're gonna lose everything that's in your local save, like in your local stash rather, um, but not stuff that is over here in the like shared stash, right? I only do this here because I plan to like at some point put this guy over to my main account and for that I need to like have the stuff in here right? um, I could actually use this metal for like poison restaurant hmm. could be an idea also got the manticore and venom here which I just should use on the offline right there we go all right But yeah, that's gonna be it for this episode one on this well Aether Spellbinder, which we basically well took all the way to Act Four icon, like the middle of Act Four, like the I don't know, like the start of Act Four, right? Um, yeah, we did everything in Act One, Cold War and Krieg. Then we went to Act Seven, up to the Vanguard, and like got the shrine here in Ruins of Bedir as well. So basically like half of Forgotten Goddess is done, um, all of Act 1, 2, Odakovia, 2, Deadman's Gunch is done, then Act 3 is done with Pine Barons as well, everything here we did. Uh, yep, Act 3, everything to Darkway Gate is done, and then Act 4, Up to 4 Icon is also done. We're gonna do Lagorian well and met. basically the rest of Act 5, 6 and 7 probably on the next episode, so basically finish normal difficulty next episode maybe um maybe not because like doing dungeons 
dungeons on top and also like doing um, like hidden path on top might take a while. But yeah, we'll see. Thank you so much everybody for watching on YouTube, YouTube as well and I'll see you around on the next one.